I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm excited that uh, that I switched over to this before I even launched the game. I was running around taking care of some things. It's been a day. It's been a day of solving unexpected and unwanted problems. I think I'll say that. It's been man. I'm gonna I'm gonna just gas about this off the top. I'm just gonna gas it out. Just <laughs> just gonna gas it. Oh wait. Um, actually the um the volume might be wacky. So let me turn it down. I used this for something else, which means I moved things around and turned some dials. So now I gotta turn them all back. It would be a tragedy if, uh, if you guys couldn't hear every minor acting inflection in all of the, uh, the voiceover. It's very important in the world that is created. Shenmue 3. Shenmue in general. It is a high quality experience that demands high fidelity. Okay, all right. Luckily, I think that menu thump is about as loud as it gets. <sighs> Could I get a happy birthday, mister? Mr. Wellsy, yes you can. Happy birthday, Wellsy. If the number at the end of your name is anything to go by, happy 42nd birthday? I think that's right. Quick math there. All right, Rio's had a rough day. Um, Rio's been a bit ground up recently, and so have we, the players and viewers of Shenmue 3. Um, alright, alright, let's quick recap here, because it's almost a joke. No, it is. So Rio has a fixation on beating up a, a gang leader who was real good at kung fu. He got his ass kicked, but if Rio's good at anything, it's getting his ass kicked and not... Maintaining, a, I would say, a baseline level of mental activity. So... Rio's still got some motor function, and that's pretty much all he's got at this point. Um, we have to beat this gang leader up for reasons that are not worth getting into. And to do so, we've got to buy an ancient technique that costs 5,000 yuan. And I can either earn that by gambling, which I tried to do. <laughs> the game has a mechanic where at least it tells you that if you get your fortune told that you'll have... Like, you'll win more often with that kind of bet. Uh, didn't seem to work out that way. Busca, thank you very much for the resub. Got a mini fridge of Topo Chipo and a big of Hostess Ding Dongs. Let's ride. <laughs> Fueled up. Um, so, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I tried gambling. I was just not getting... I was just not getting results. Uh, it did not seem that my bets were... It's weird, because it... I know, I know perception is, is notoriously unreliable in situations like this, just what it seems like. Um, I haven't been keeping track of the math or anything. But I swear to God, I was like putting money into the system at some point. Um, despite going with these like favored... Hey, you! Favored bets, yeah. so... You need to pay for your room tonight. I decided to stop uh, messing with the cash. ethereal, and just make my money the honest way by, by forking on the docks. So I only need to make about 900 bucks, which is, I think, about three sessions of forking. I can do that in a day. I just gotta stick to my guns morning, and Leon. not get antsy and go gamble. <laughs> just like real life. Oh, uh, Shenmue yeah. 3 is great. Did you? Yes, I Oh, you did. can gather flowers each day? Good. Yeah, I didn't really look... I didn't really look up okay. their spawn rate. You too. Because they don't seem to respawn every day. Um, but that's just a really anecdotal observation. I, I, if you do know the spawn places for all the herbs, and you, like, you just run around to them every day, I could see that working out pretty well. Did you play Gi uh, Project Giant Robot at E3 2014? I think I saw a clip of you used in a video about the Wii U earlier today. I think I did, actually. Very, very briefly. Um, yeah, I guess that would be in Machinima footage. I think I remember shooting some things there. That's crazy, though. I never would have thought of that, or of any of that ever, like, surfacing in anything ever again. I figured that was all memory hold pretty hard. Is there a time limit on this game? No. Um, Shenmue 1 makes you feel like there might be, but I don't think any of the games have that. You can basically take as long as you need to to finish Shenmue 1, and then Shenmue 2 just starts at a specific date. My summer car is Shenmue done right, coming of age story consisting of a simple goal that takes forever because of having to maintain your life around it changing my mind. I don't think I need to. I think you're 100% correct. And the way that My Summer Car delivers all of its like drama and gameplay situations kind of mechanically, it's the interaction of the gameplay elements and the solitude that make it work. 
as opposed to bouncing off a variety of human beings, which video games are notoriously bad at emulating. So the solitude, I think, is is like a very smart decision. Um, and the few ghosts you do interact with just kind of lend to the otherworldliness of that encounter. It's it's very similar to Shenmue, in fact. But I think my summer car is brilliant in leaning away from the people as opposed to into the people. Um, so. Oh, wait, are you for real? Shenmue 1 ends at April 5th, 87. If you don't beat it before then, you get the bad ending. I had no clue. Man, that's crazy. But you have to, you, you gotta burn days to get there, I think. Uh, just naturally, I finished that game at like the end of February, I think. Man, that's crazy. I did not know that. Well, I guess similarly, you can end the game in my summer car in all sorts of ways. Hi, Mr. Dudging. It is one of my more favorite, like, Came at a good time. I guess it's Wanna not, some work? could you call it a roguelike? Is that, I don't know. It's one of more, my more favorite games because of the permadeath aspect. And I know you don't have to play it that way, but. Sure. Wait, Shenmue 3 has a time Great. limit? I could really use the help. Let's get started then. That's awesome. I can't imagine what could be timed. I mean, maybe, maybe I'll eventually get there, but. Londi flew away in a helicopter. He's gone. I'm not really chasing anybody. I'm just trying to figure out where he went. Eric, thank you for the resub. Oh, it's a... Yeah, I guess you could call it a survival game. Mm, yeah. I'm counting on you. It's like... It's kind of like... It's like a survival game crossed with The Witness. You know? Well, the puzzles aren't necessarily that explicit. Ah. What's Londi's motive? We don't know. Straight up do not know. He busted in, killed our dad, took a thing, and we owe up. Oh shit, it's coming from the boat! Oh fuck! So yeah, I, that's part of the mystery, is figuring out the dad's past and why Londi wanted to, was was cool murdering him and why this mirror is important. That's the, uh, that is the mystery central to the game that has barely been touched on. The game's... The game's audacity is, it's like, a, it's a mix of the absurdity of its plot and also the absolute insistence to not tell you anything about it. It's just a series of absurd roadblocks. Look, I'm chewed up pretty bad. <laughs> Ramoni, thank you very much broken. for the big, big cheer. So you better go on without Thank me. you very, very much. Get yourself out of here that word a lot today. Oh, it's a very kind of day. I don't know. It's, it's like a pretty, I feel, I feel a lot of intensity today. It's very windy. And like, it's one of those like, sun is shining, but windy days and it's kind of cold. So it's a little blustery, but it's like rattling the windows. It's pretty crazy. The fact that you know so little about what the fuck's going on is intriguing and kind of ridiculous 21 years on now. Yeah, yeah. It's something else. Again, it's like, most people would say for worse, but for better or worse, there's just really nothing like it. And I I find I find respect in the fact that Shenmue 3 is still that kind of game. There's all kinds of like benefits, like quality of life shits games have figured out a long time ago. Shenmue 3 just pretends like none of that happened. It made its own vision. Oh, Violet, Violent Venon. Redeeming the VIP or ban. All right, let's get it. Can I VIP or ban while forking? I bet I can. Oh, I moved it. Oh, there it is. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oof. Violet, I'm very sorry. Hopefully that pauses time. Violet, I haven't I haven't seen your name in chat very much, which tells me that you're a lurker, which also means that you're you're smart, intelligent, curious, um, you're wise enough to know that sometimes it's important to not speak. However, I do have to ban you now. Uh, <laughs> it's 50-50, yeah. But you have the, you have the bravery to, to soar where few dare. And that's, that's worthy of celebrating. Did you just insult the regulars? Ooh, maybe I did. 
I would, it's more like, I, I typically lurk in nearly every stream I watch, so I have to identify with them. But, uh, Violet, I'm very sorry. But the good news is this probably won't sting very much. Oop, wait a minute. I got it backwards. There we are. Okay. Where's the forking at? Oh, sorry, it's behind this. It's behind this crayon map. Is it permaban? No, no, it's it's just for an hour. That would, <laughs> that would be an. Oh wait, the time was going down. Uh, that would be a pretty amazing business model. Streamer that like actively punishes people who watch their streams a lot. I thought about it, but I was like, it's actually the worst idea. If somebody if, if somebody racks up enough points to push them out of your stream forever, just for watching you a lot. It should be a perma ban, an IP ban. I upload a computer virus to your PC and it blows up your CD-ROM drive. Are your two that makes you a modder get perma ban? Oh shit! Interesting, interesting. Yeah, the... I like to keep the moderation a little lean around here. It's not because... Well, maybe it is because I don't trust. I don't know. I feel like it's just simpler that way. I wouldn't want to do this. Okay, I'll put it next, too. I'd be more concerned, I think, if uh, my stream were bigger. Oh! That's all right. I'll make my... Ooh, I'll make my quota. Don't worry about that. DVD-ROM just died? Ooh, Saracens. You should have protected it. You gotta put... You gotta put antivirus on it. Here, I can sell you... I can sell you a can of antivirus. And you just pop it open, you take out the brush, and you spread it evenly... ...on your D... on your Blu-ray drive. And that will prevent people like me from blowing it up remotely with my Twitch viruses. It's so simple. How many people let me blow up their computers that way? Too many. You know? Too many. Don't... Maybe I need to... Yeah, I forgot about that. My... My hot tech was gonna be to... No matter what, raise the... Raise the one square cargo. Because I think he always does. He always raises it up. So maybe if you come in with it up, it's actually faster... You don't have to wait for it to go up to drop it back again. Will Shenmue 3 ever get a candle cam? You know, I wish I had started Shenmue 3 with a candle cam. <laughs> now that now that you mention it, I was thinking that there isn't a game that I've really ground at like that. I was... It should be Dragon Quest. Like, Dragon Quest is that kind of game. So, um... I don't know. Unfortunately, for the next week or two, I've got a, a lot of projects and events and travel and things. Believe it or not. Um, so... Unfortunately, it's not the time to have, like... 8 to 12 hour streams of, uh, of Dragon Quest, but it will be soon. I need to put in some stream hours, actually. I've been, uh, I've been, I've been spotty. I've been spotty on the old Twitch. Need to, need to give it a little shot in the arm. A little, uh, little TLC. A little game time. New Doom expansion tease today? I know! I, so the teaser got teased, too, but it was nice to see, like, the full quality version of it. It's pretty wild, man. I don't know why I thought there was... It's still really cool, don't get me wrong, but for some reason the idea that, like, Evil Doom Guy now has a giant battle mech, I'm like, even saying the words, I'm like, yeah, that sounds awesome. But for some reason seeing it, I don't know, <laughs> somebody posted that picture of, uh, Mark Ruffalo and, like, the Hulkbuster. I'm like, yeah, that looks about right. Maybe that's part of it. It's just like the evil bad guy doesn't look as cool when he's just a tiny little head poking out of a giant... Warhammer 40k battle mech, and I understand how ridiculous that sounds. It was either you or Maximilian, dude. Ultimately, I chose you to use my Prime. Oh, thank you very much. It's Kikyo. I appreciate that. But I also don't fault you for liking Max. He's a great streamer. That's enough for today. I really respect people that can. I mean, for all I know, it's you know maybe an act or whatever. But dude seems just super genuine, honest, and like. 
Great job, buddy. To operate at that scale and have just just be 100% genuine like the is still really really cool. I'm going to have to give you a little extra for this. Got it. Thanks. Actually, I was speaking of FGC. I was, I was watching Eris get his ass kicked in uh, I'll see you later. Ghouls and Ghosts too. Man, it's so cool that like some great stream personalities came out of the FGC. It makes tons of sense, you know. If you can work a mic, Hi, Mr. you can be a great hey, streamer. Bob, you came at a good time. Want to do some work? I do, I do. We're getting there. Sure. Oh, great! I could really use the help. But yeah, started, that fucking laser hammer. It. I mean, it is Warhammer now. You. What's crazy is like you saw the Warhammer shit, broken down mechs and stuff, and they were really awesome window ship. dressing, and if you Using paid attention to that stuff, it sure did excite the imagination. I have my doubts that like, those big epic encounters are gonna be playable in any way. It might just be cutscene stuff. Cause I don't know how you make... Uh, I don't wanna start dreaming about that stuff. <laughs> of like, actual ridiculous scale uh, doom fights. All right. Still getting that 5k, and are we thinking about those moves? Oh yeah. I've never stopped thinking about those moves and absolutely securing that five that 5G. Are there more okay, so there's more on the other side. Alright. When will DL start doing insurance scams? Man, if those existed, I would have done them long ago. Platform ring on the mecha could be a thing? Yeah. Um and they have like goofy modes, you know? There was like you become a revenant. They, they have sequences where you're overpowered and just kill a bunch of shit. So I could see that, of like a mech sequence where it's like still first person um, and you just have all these like guns and shit bordering your camera and then you just mash buttons on a cooldown to murder just ass loads of demons. I can definitely see like a, especially since it's the last DLC, there's like a, shooters like that used to do this a lot. They would have like a victory lap sequence at the end. Uh, I always like, to me the quintessential version of that is the like, Laser dinosaur at the end of um, uh, the Fall Far Cry Three Blood Fury. What the heck was it called? Oh my god! I got I got poopy brain, dongo brain. Hey, Danny Man Clark, how you doing? I'm doing really good. Blood Dragon, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, um, that used to be a lot more common of just like kind of masturbatory. Uh, you get to murder everything, g game player sequences. That's how you knew you were near the end, too. It's like a bit of a telegraph. I haven't seen that as much lately, though. So I could definitely see something like that in Doom. Wow. Especially with how much it's been building to it and how hard it's been. Fuck. I could see it being a, a cheeky little sequence of, like, you just get to murder now. Evan... Mm. Evan Armagast? Evan Armagast. Hey, thank you for the prime. Thanks very much. I think that's... No, that's two. There were three. You like how they're mixing it up now? They got two different... Two different... Uh, warehouse sections. Different entrances. Oh, wait. No, never mind. They're just all stacked up. Never mind. Yet again, I have uh, overestimated Shenmue. <laughs> Can you drive the fork into the water? No. That would be a disgrace to the... Uh, the pastime of forking. No, you just bonk into an invisible wall and stop. That's all. Having two sections would be way too much work. They've done it before. Um, I'm pretty sure. They just didn't do it when I thought they did. Shenmue sometimes works against me when I try to show it off. Love that bang. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it up this time, and yeah, I think... No, because he lowers it. That's so weird. He did that, I didn't do that shit. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't know you could do that. That's awesome. All right, okay. I'm working on my strats now, so you want to raise it after you clear that overhang. <laughs> All right. Let me lower it now, and it goes... Oh, you bitch! He did, like, it, it went almost all the way down and then went all the way back up again, so... I was curious. Hmm, this is interesting. 
does he just does he have to raise it before he lets me put it back down? Because I put it back down, he's like, nope, we're going back up. All right, Rio. <laughs> you call the shots, buddy. <laughs> I'm just here to give advice. Rio's not a smart man. He's uh he's set in his ways. That is that is what I would say about Rio. He's, he's got his ways that he likes to do things. He's got an obsessive compulsion. I um hmm. I do think you could make a, a pretty compelling argument for some sort of neurodivergence. Ooh, in in Rio. And Although, I think a lot of that, it may also just be reading the, like, characterization of... Okay, here we go. Let's see if it goes all the way down. Okay. Like, it may just be a, a bit of... Uh... Why is it going down, man? How'd you do that? Um... Maybe some Austin Translation stuff? Because he's a Japanese teenager who's also, like, trying to process revenge. So, I wouldn't... This is a bit of a cultural stereotype, but I don't... I wouldn't... I wouldn't expect uh, a Japanese youth to be as uh, forthcoming with their emotions. And Ryo can seem comically robotic sometimes, but I think that may just be them trying to be realistic with a performance. Shemu set in Hong Kong? Um, part of it is, but Ryo's from Japan. Ryo's like the accountant. He's perfectly capable, just very particular. Yeah, paired, paired with a mind that he's still figuring out. That's, I think, the phrase, or how I would phrase it. I raise it up here so he doesn't. Can decide which Shemu I like better, one or two. I think I like two better. It's just more of a game. And a little less frustrating. But Shenmue 1 has some magical moments. Out of all of them, I do I think I would probably prefer three. Uh maybe. Maybe two. But then again, I haven't finished three yet, so. Who knows? Is Rio a case of blank, blank slate hero? I think you could make a case for that, uh, Firefly. Yeah. It's, um, I don't think it's as, like... It's weird because he still says quite a bit. And he has moments of expression. So, if they wanted to be blank slate with him, they could have been blanker? If that makes any sense? Like, Link is pretty blank. Um, but, but Ryo will occasionally, for some reason, express strong opinions about something. So those random punctures of, uh, personality kind of imply a different att like, a different attempt with him? A different goal? It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Maybe it is, maybe it is honestly just an intentional mix. My god, that boy loves his, uh, his capsule toys. Here. Can I make eight? Let's find out. Through these extremely rare vases. I've got to throw it into maximum overdrive. I'm working my tech though. I'm working my tech. That that uh that landing is getting a lot a lot job, more interesting. Buddy. This port is like crazy. that little at you the bottom. The <laughs> I'm gonna have to give you a little extra for this. Got it. Thanks. See, this is exciting. <laughs> okay. I'm developing tech. I'm learning skills. I'm finding challenge. Hi, Mr. Dirty. One more. Hey, bud. One more shift. Came at a good time. Want to do some work? Oh, the Japanese V8 that sounds more natural? Ah. Part of the original delivery sure. was just a product of the time oh, and kind of crappy like localization really still. They stuck with the V8 for the third game because of the fans. Same with the awkward delivery. I think they did a great job. 
a shockingly accurate job. He's so proud of his maps. Here's the map. Sign her up for Herbalife or sign up with Herbalife? Yeah. <laughs> I'll multiply my money. I'm counting on you. Would Ryo be good at selling Herbalife? No. I mean he would he would be dogged though. Let's see, okay, I'm unloading the boat. I think he would talk to a shocking amount of people. Uh, a, a borderline annoying amount of times about it. Best way to play the game IMO before the remasters was the undub, which had the Japanese VA and English text. Huh. Okay. I wonder... I've always had a theory that simply being in another language makes your brain think more kindly on performance. That since you can't actually understand all the nuances of the delivery, that in that, in that gap, your imagination fills in some of the details and they're usually more positive than negative. That's just a theory, though. Um, I found that myself. But the uh, the truth is it also doesn't matter, you know? If you enjoy it more, or if you like using your imagination, then do it. If it produces a better, more tolerable, more entertaining gameplay experience. I believe very strongly in intentionally leaving gaps in things so people fill it in with their imaginations. It makes it more personal, too. I think it increases your mental buy-in. Yeah, exactly, G Jesus. Yeah, much like reading a book provides far more space for your imagination to fill in the gaps. Uh huh. And then it like it becomes part of you, because you've unwillingly created part of it yourself. Yeah. That process is really fascinating to me. I don't know. I think another part of it is. Uh, that, that I'm kind of starting to dwell on my mind lately is that I just haven't read a really good work of fiction in a while. I've read a lot of kind of informative books because, I don't know, I'll almost task myself with homework and then I feel bad giving up on a book. I read... Uh, well, let's see. I've got a few banked up, though, so... Like sci-fi? Actually, I, I take it back. Um, one of the... So I did read a, a pretty entertaining... Oh, I shouldn't say it like that. An extremely entertaining novel from uh, a writer I used to work with. He published a science fiction adventure novel. And it was dang good. Witcher books are great? Yeah, maybe I should, maybe I should pick those up then I can be the cool kid that has strong opinions about the faithfulness of the Netflix series. Oh yeah, I'll have all, all sorts of hot takes banked up by the time season two hits. Hey, Una. Welcome. Oh, JC, you're for subs when it comes to dramas, but... When it comes to comedies like One Punch Man, I prefer the dub because the timing lands better. I was watching Parasite in the theater and it was weird having this laugh staggered based on people when they read the line. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, comedy, you can do physical pretty well. I think you can also, with very sort of pronounced expressions, you can kind of pair the landing with the line in your head. But I agree, yeah. Not hearing comedy in its native language, you definitely lose the timing element. Oh wait, there are books about the Expanse? I finally watched the first season and I was, yeah, I was pretty enchanted. It is, it is Mass Effect-y, which uh, I'm okay with. I like Mass Effect. So man, there were there was a time when if they if they put out Mass Effect books, I would have read all that shit. They put out a Dragon Age book. Actually, wait, I think there was a Mass Effect book. Oh, it started as books. All right, cool. Maybe I'll look into that. Yeah, that would that's that feels right. That feels right right about now. Feels like that would that would taste good. Yeah, there were Mass Effect books. Yeah. I think by the time they came out, I was like, uh. <laughs> I was so bought in with Mass 1. Oh yeah, I remember I remember asking this and I thought I had a line on it, but is there a way to play 
Mass Effect Andromeda 1.0. Like, retail. I want the gonk faces. I want, like... I want it to be bad. Or maybe it's it's so bad that it's not worth it? I don't know. Cracker scene. Oh, is there, like, a site that has cracked versions of each? Like Sonic Boom? Exactly. Although I do have Sonic Boom over there. That's a game I gotta get to. Cracks are out there. Hmm, okay. Yeah, buy it physical and don't allow it to connect. Maybe? Does that work? Why won't it let me raise it? Let me go up. What? That's really weird. What? That was strange. Oh, this object you couldn't raise last time? Huh, okay. All right, well, thank you for thank you for remembering. I guess that's just a that is actually a two-story item. No time! That's right. Ditch it and go. This is the last fork and shift I'm putting in. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to have to go buy that stupid book. I get to learn some random move that won't matter. I get to get my ass kicked multiple times again. Is there another space? Oh, Wizard of Earth's series? I've heard that too. Actually, I was reading the, uh, I started the Kingkiller Chronicles. I don't know why I didn't finish. But I was into that so far. I think it was like, I think, I don't know. I think I just saw some, I think I saw, saw Patrick Rothfuss up to some nerdy ass shit. And I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to read these books anymore. I can't remember what it was though. You know, it was so long ago. And probably meaningless. Uh... Huh. Uh. This is. Maybe there's more drop points on the other side? This is odd. 50 foot penguin. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the seven months of subs. What? Put it on the box. What box? Oh yeah, the box. I have a box. Wait, can, I don't. You can't lift it up. Yeah, it won't go up. Maybe I can squeeze it in there and it'll count. That's enough for today. Yes. Sweep. Getting the job done. Great job, buddy. This port is crazy, but you still met the quota. I'm gonna have to give you a little extra for this. Got it. Thanks. Yeah, cha-ching. Mmm. Come on back, you hear? I even have enough money left over to pay I'll rent tomorrow. No sleeping on the street for this guy. Okay, let's go buy us a book. Uh, oh shit, I don't remember which one it was at. Oh wait, it was at the, uh... It was at the pawn shop at the end of the... The row across from the other casino, right? I think so. Yeah, I'm sure that's the case. I'm sure that's the case. This is so exciting. I, I feel like in game time, I've been stuck on this money goal for five to six hours. Five to six hours of gameplay that is seriously nothing more than you have to get money. There is some fun in the fact that the game has multiple avenues to do it, but none of them are <laughs> really practical or interesting. M maybe picking, well, fishing, maybe, maybe. I don't know if you get a lot of money fishing or if you even get money fishing at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ruby. College is getting more expensive every year. Five grand for one book. Wait a minute. No, it's not that way. I have more or less snapshot of the layout of this of this town now though which is good it is a little confusing Eddie Vane thank you for the entire year of subs happy anniversary <laughs> Mario can't punch fish 
He has no interest in fish. And again, he can't punch capsule machines either. $770 for one book. That's actually not as bad as I thought it might be. Books were like two to 300 bucks when I was in college. And that was 18,000 years ago. Nah, it wasn't that bad. I was like 15, I think. That makes me pretty old, but not super old. Hi there. Why are you here? I mean, it's still horrible. Nothing to wrong. sell. Makes so that's what I see. X, I'm looking. For we don't for stuff. I've not understood. Is that you don't? Oh yes. Let's. See. Wait. What? Not in. Well. You why are makes so up? That's what. Maybe I not. See. I thought, I thought that's where you, don't they usually have an inventory you can look at? Well, anyway. Uh, can win with a verse body check. Arcane book is 5,000 you're on. They didn't, he didn't write down which shop had it. And it's been a long time. The one with the old man. Ooh, maybe. I remember, I think I remember where that is. I'll go check out that one. Y yeah? Y yes. I think you're correct. There's, there's tiny arms, tiny arms, Bobby. Actually, who's what's this guy's name? He, he like doesn't swing his arms. Hello. Hi there. It doesn't say his name. Oh, there it is. Yuis. Your name is Yuis. All right. Dude had a fucking ass. He does. He's just squat. He's a thick, thick boy. Extremely dense. All the goodness of a man and 80% the size. Ooh, tough guy. Nope, I can't spend money. I was gonna... It's like, I wouldn't be a tough guy. Hey, you got tough guy pills in here? I'll have, take a few of them. A couple of pills for this tough guy. Shouldn't be so great. Ooh, you've told me how to say this name before. Rainbow. Wait. Robot Vortex. Hold on. It's Vortex at the end. Rainbow Trademark Vortex. There we go. Anyway, thank you for the resub. Rainbow Time Vortex, yeah. Okay, I got real close that time. <laughs> I got two out of three. I'm gonna nail it next time, I know it. Excuse me. Have you returned for the reverse body check? It is yours for 5,000 euros. I did stream Jedi Fallen Order. I don't know that I streamed purchase? all of it. But yeah, there are some, some videos up. Uh, fuck this game. Oh, I had some credits I could have cashed in. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll take it. Mm, a wise it was worth it for that last fork forklift run. Now, here's the reverse body check skill book. It's just a book that has a gun inside. <laughs> the one skill that can defeat any opponent. Hi, Dio. Shenhua, look. I got the Baji Tren Arcane book. This is the key to beating the Red Snake's boss. God. That's great. Just don't push yourself too hard. I can't. Not yet, anyway. I just bought it. But now comes the hard part. Making it mine. I suggest the we... The bird just grabs it and flies away. Up today. I guess I have to get 5,000 more Euron. Right. Yeah, dude, you put a triple shift in on the docks. Take it easy, Rio. It's not like the game's gonna fail if we don't finish it in time. I don't know where he throws his jacket. So he throws it with his right hand. So it goes to the foot of his bed? I guess? Does he just throw it on the floor every night? And then pick it up and put it back on? Yeah, it's not visible over there. 
And then he walks across the room. Oh, we got narrative, though. Time for a training montage! This is one of the eight big lures of Baji Tren. Reverse body check. Do we have to do this in the rain? I just spent $5,000. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> last page is missing. What are we going to do? Take it back. Get a refund. Please just do that first. Get your money back. Perhaps Grandmaster Bay will know what was on the last page. No, <laughs> that's not the right answer. I'll try asking him. No, Rio. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, 100,000 you're on for the last page. This is the reverse body check. Uh, A signature move of Baji Tren. One of the most powerful moves in Chinese martial arts. The last page is missing. I believe you can guess what was on it. Please, Grandmaster. Uh. When we sparred, you showed me a few Baji Tren moves. Who taught them to you? My father and Grandmaster Tao Li Shao. Tao Li Shao. I'm familiar with the name. Seems you have a knack for Baji Tren. Please show me. I could teach you more, but if you lack Kung Fu, its power will be halved. That seems fair. Do you? Does that mean I have to level up Kung Fu? Honestly, I don't think your Kung Fu is strong enough. Uh, Grandmaster, I... The White Dragon of Ushun Hall. Huh? The trainee in front of the hotel. He's quite strong. Is he going to send me to go beat somebody up? Try to beat him. Yes. Motherfucker owes me money. The White Dragon of Wushan Hall. Go prove your Kung Fu or whatever. If you beat him, I'll acknowledge. Ha ha ha. God, Ryo's such a dope. How is he not just like being man massively manipulated by really anyone? Anyone with a short-term memory that functions could probably convince Ryo to do just about whatever they wanted. He's dogged, too. He's relentless. He'll get it done. <laughs> this game is brave for writing in a cuck protagonist. Yeah, it's not It's not common, is it? Cucks need representation, too. Alright, let's go uh, beat this guy up. Because somebody that I know I've had maybe two, and two conversations with, two and a half passive talks, has told me to do it. So, now I'm going to. All right, dude in front of the hotel. <laughs> hey! Somebody here wearing white? About to get his ass kicked. Mm. Maybe over here? Wushen Hall. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wushen. White dragon. Okay, so yeah, this is this will be the, like, en more endgame grind, I guess. Hua, 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 hua. Good shit. Looty McShooty, thanks for the sub. Okay, when I play as a king Excuse cuck. Me. <laughs> Have you come to train? You can practice your kung fu on a wooden dummy, or polish your techniques by sparring. You can also test your skills in a real match. What will you do? Sorry about that. I was just checking a few things. Uh... Do you want to have a match? Your next opponent will be... Blue. Okay, so I just have to, like, beat my way through all of the people to get to White Dragon? Or maybe I just... Yeah, I just have to... Yo, though, this guy's eyebrows are so... <laughs> Does he have extensions on his eyebrows? You would never, ever try to hit a man that looked like that. Never. Doing that to recover stamina on my nerves. You You're on a roll. Yeah, it's training time. You beat blue wolf. We're gonna have a lot of action today, it, it seems. To Going around and just impressive victory. beating That's ass until we're told that we finally have earned the right to I don't know what I don't know Excuse what. Me. 
Have you come to for this weird fisherman to teach me the last move in a martial arts on a pamphlet that... or polish your techniques by sparring. God damn it. You can also test your skills in a real match. What will you do? Do you want to have a match? This time Oh, just heads up. Ooh, White Wolf. There we go. Uh, just as a heads up, I'm going to be switching to Among Us in a little over an hour to play with Lana. It was a charity event. She's going to... She invited us to be a part of it. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> Got him. I don't know why these fights are so much easier than the. Well, I mean, because the other well. one was like four against four you people. So. Beat White Wolf. That moves you up to fourth dawn. I have to admit, you have some impressive moves. All right, White Wolf destroyed. Didn't even have to eat that much garlic. I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna miss running around on. Wasn't it White Dragon? Yeah, it's a guy I just beat up, right? Was it not? Grandmaster. What's the matter with you? Didn't you hear what I said? Maybe not. I just. Oh, White Wolf? Oh. Your Kung Fu isn't good enough. Oh, shit. That's why I told you to train. Sorry. Okay. Defeat the man they He's call like White pissed off. Dragon in the Ushan. fuck are you doing here? Got that? White Dragon at Wushan Hall. Got it. I was very explicit. Now go do it. I will. Alright. Knowing nothing about this game from the title, I would have assumed, assumed this is a GitHub stream. No. No, no, we're not forking code. We're forking, uh... Shipments. Pallets. We are the lifeblood that makes this city work. How are people going to get their bananas if we don't unload these boats? Oh boy. Alright, well. Down the hatch. <laughs> there I was patting myself on the back for not breaking into my garlic stores. Excuse me. Have you... You can... Pr you can... One will... Do you want Gold Wolf? Whoop. Gold Wolf. <laughs> All right. Looks like he might be a Gold Wolf. He's tall. Beat Gold Wolf. I do hope he gets more incredulous that as I go. You fifth to one. A true testament. Oh my god. But there are even stronger opponents that await you. Excuse me. Have you come to train? You can practice. You can all one will <laughs> a fight, eh? Let's see. Red Dragon, you Huh. Able to buy the book, yes. Uh, now I have to beat people up to prove that my kung fu is good enough 
so that this old crusty dickbag will teach me a sweet move. Nice. I'm impressed. Stop that tickles. You're no simple opponent. That won't work. Jesus. With them at the trusty rat house. Ow. Uh oh. Uh, I gotta get. I should get good at fighting now. Use the wooden dump and other. So those raise HP. I can't remember what raises attack power though. One inch. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Oh wait, that's right. No, you you get more of a result if you Maybe have high I'll stamina. Practice some more. Maybe practice some more. Maybe later. One inch punch. I didn't mean to do that. Maybe. Maybe later. I mean, his mouth has got to be all swollen up, and filled with blood at this point, right? One. Maybe I'll. All right. I don't know if this raises attack. I guess I'll find out. And blooded garlic. <laughs> Garlic makes the wounds close quickly. But man, does it sting. Hey, Luke. It's going pretty well. I'm deep in my kung fu training. Getting better every day. Bigger and better. Yeah, that just raises endurance. Should I keep going? Should I keep going? Yeah, we'll do one more. Where is the school to learn the forklift stance? Oh, it's not taught. You've gotta you've gotta discover that on your own. True practitioners, this is how they uh just find the path on their own. Because it's personal for everybody. No one can tell you how to fork. I guess my health pip got one size bigger. That happens at the end. And of course, self enlightenment, also the manual. Exactly, anthrax. A lot of paperwork. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, Luke, I did see that. Should I keep going? I'll save it. One inch Ooh, punch. Pretty good use of AI technology. Maybe. If you want to be attack, you had to spar and practice your moves. Yeah, I thought that. I thought that was the case. Yeah. I. The thing is, I don't know that I trust the game to literally mean that if your attack levels up, you do more damage. Excuse. Have you? You can. You can. One will. I'll try it. You've come this far. Yeah, it works pretty well. <laughs> Actually, I've seen. The only times I've seen it not work is when it's basically like somebody feeds it something that is obviously not a face. But it's weird because the sparring in this game is useless. It doesn't actually teach you anything. And it's not good training either for how the uh, how the AI tends to fight. Oops. Yeah. 
With all the deep fake stuff getting more popular, how worried are you about people using your face for random stuff? I'm not popular enough for that to be a concern. Um, for me. It's absolutely going to happen to people more popular than me, though. It's gonna be a problem. And what's gonna be... I mean, it's also going to be... People will be caught on video doing something, and they can just say that it's not true. That's gonna be the, the worst thing, is certain kinds of evidence being called into question because it's so easy to fake. It's gonna be have to... There's gonna have to be some kind of, like, digital signing of, uh... Of media to like correlate it with a with an origin source that can be verified. That's pretty on point with the current meta. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go until I get one more level. But yeah, it just means you can you have, you can you truly have to choose what to believe. Oh, I got hacked. Turned it. We'll turn into I got deep faked. Yeah. And T-Tech could help with that? Not really. I don't see how. Because you could just you can just generate an NFT for a fake video. Unless, yeah, it matches like a record or something, but... Well, I guess it is possible. On the bright side, you can just continue denying things now and people believe you even if you're on video. Yeah, that's... That's the other thing. Oops, I was in the... It's that, uh... People are already well past the point of... Choosing what to believe. Like, having evidence... Has only ever mattered so much. Spencer, thank you for the sub. No one believes people when they say, I got hacked. Oh, what was the... Yeah, the... I mean, they they shouldn't, because it's stupid, but... Um... The Mommy Milkers guy... Which, if if it actually was faked, it's not good to call it that, but... Yeah, he was, like, claiming that it was a bad... Uh, like, a fake screenshot of him accidentally being horny. It wasn't Pete Booty Gig. Do you want to keep sparring? <laughs> It was some other guy. It was like some analyst. Was it actually real? I don't know. Create a signature based on the video's actual frames and whatnot you can verify and compare. It's only helpful if you know one video is legit. Yeah, that's the thing. There has to be some kind of like trusted certification of the original that you can compare to. Uh, Daddy Gun Run, thank you for the sub. I think what's going to be more than likely is that we'll develop AIs to tell us if something has been altered with AI or not. It's, uh, things that are created by machine learning can also be identified by machine learning. So I think it'll be like DNA certification. This video is 99.9% .9 authentic, or it has a 77% chance of being authentic, something like that. Damn it. That's such a dumb thing to rattle out. It's, it's, like, really not fun to hit A three times and then Y. Yeah, getting close to the AI wars. I mean, we're kind of... Kind of there now. Ugh. Predictive and modeling AI, you definitely want your country to have that stuff before somebody else does. I guess they're not overtly fighting each other. But consider that, like... Facebook has a an, an content algorithm that can change elections. Um, they do. And that's in the United States. But if it weren't, there's, a, there's been plenty of manipulation of, of United States policy and culture through external AI, like, botting stuff. So it's a, it's, it's a real thing. There are countries using that technology to alter the um, stability of other countries. God, cannot express how epic that uppercut is. Yeah, he's gotta, keep gotta cock it up and load it, and then whoa! the more exaggerated your motions, the more damage an uppercut will do. Oh, okay. 
cantankerous. One deepfake detection algorithm came out recently that detects discrepancies in the reflections of people's eyes. The deepfakes apparently aren't great at faking. That makes tons of sense. Oh, oops. Damn it. Do you... Facebook did that already on its own by being a platform of misinformation in other countries. I mean, it, they did it. They, they were a platform for misinformation in the United States, too. And it has had an effect. Whatever. On, uh, on local policy. So wait, I've mastered all the abilities I'm allowed to master. And I can't pick anything else? Whatever. I guess I can try different things. That is interesting, though. I could I could see there being something of like, yeah, like um, using other photos and other video of that area to establish what a reflective profile should be, and then yeah, if you don't, I mean, I guess if you're doing the deep fake too, you could also factor that in. But yeah, maybe there's maybe that's how that can work. Oh, let's see here. Micro movements of the person of the person in skin is what the detectors look for. Cool. That's really interesting. Yeah. Oh, Pi Fanatic, thank you for the sub. Your day was yesterday. Hope you enjoyed your Pi Day. Wait, what? So unless, keep sparring. unless I have more moves to level up, my attack will not increase. Or maybe my stamina was just too low, so I didn't get anything out of it? I don't like that. I'm not happy with what just happened there. Because <laughs> that means I have to go buy more moves, right? You can, you can, one will, a fuck can sit. Fuck. Is that really going to be this phase of the game of like, I have to grind sparring to level up attack to have a chance against these guys? I mean, I can probably take this guy. I don't know how bad it's going to be though. The AI is just really hard to predict about when it chooses to block. You're no simple opponent. <laughs> is that all you're made of? Fair. But maybe I can do a little keep away. Keep away with mega mega kick. You're no simple opponent. I'm not above choosing this game. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty too, by the way, because of course I am. There we go. I just wish they would, like, you would get something for getting your ass kicked here. You beat Red Dragon. Because losing stamina, like, you just have to eat food. That costs you money. Set your sights even higher and keep climbing. So you are just basically pouring resources into these fights and not getting much back. Aside from the satisfaction of combat. Excuse me. Have you come to train? I would instantly delete my sub if you were not playing Shenmue 3 on the hardest difficulty. I'm glad to hear that, actually. Uh, I would expect nothing less than for my audience to uh, hold me to the highest possible standard. So, you wish to fight? When it comes to gaming skill and gaming professionalism. Oh, we got a little Krillin on our hands. The shorter the eyebrows get, the stronger the fighter. Yeah, there are expectations that come along with being the quintessential gamer. Heavy, heavy, heavy rest the crown. Jesus Christ. I'm blocking through that and it's not mattering. Oh, 
Did you ever do uh, Doom DLC Part 1 on Ultra Nightmare? I did not. I have not done that yet. Alright, I think I can get him. Yeah, he beat my ass. He came in with it. Excuse me. When do you think NPCs will be able to accurately pronounce any custom name you come up with for your character? Uh, like a AI-generated speech? I don't know. That's a little... That's one of those things where it's got to be it's got to be so good as to not call attention to itself. I could see if like maybe there's like an AI character that's the announcer that it could work. Um Yeah, but phonetics are there's so many exceptions to in the English language to like certain pairings and specific pronunciations and specific circumstances. It can't be that far away though. But essentially like Siri and uh, Alexa and stuff, that's where we're at. So you can you can kind of listen to that and that and that's about where we are in terms of where what it would sound like in a video game I think. Posted a mod in your DC for an Agau Slayer skin. Oh goodness, that's interesting. Is it just like a pattern? Fuck! I didn't mean to dash in like that. Weird. Now I'm it's with this guy. Fuck. Now I'm it's with this guy. Yeah. Oh, let me. What uh... a magnificent fight! You beat Black Dragon, so you have been promoted in rank. Okay. Keep it up. Warrior. That's pretty great. Oh my God! And then, of course, the eyes on the visor. That's that's excellent. Just excellent. Did you watch the Ancient Gods Part Two teaser? Absolutely. Yes. Very excited. All right. Keep going. Have you? You can. You can. One will. So you shall fight. Blue dragon. God damn it! What rank do you need? I don't know. I don't know how far away it is. It's the white wolf. So I have to get to the wolves, and I have to defeat the white wolf. I guess there were three in the last like grouping. So maybe after this guy, I'll see the next next group. Oh, White Dragon, all right. That's right, it was White Wolf is the one I wasn't supposed to, uh, that I got confused and thought I was supposed to beat up. So I was a little bit late on that one. It's weird. Rio just decided to stop moving backwards. You're no simple opponent. Got him. You beat Blue Dragon. I'm happy to promote you to the next rank. I'm running low on fruit here. Cheddar cheese crackers. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, <laughs> that's that's all of my food. Excuse me. Have you? You can. You can. Uh, it's as if you live for the fight. Let's pair you with a valiant opponent. Finally. The one and only White Dragon. All right. If I get my ass kicked here, I don't, I can't heal anymore. Hey, Scruffy Fern. Welcome, welcome. It's time. It's time. This is the guy. This is the boy. I put this I put this fell on the ground, I get my sweet revenge, I guess. I'm back to Forkin if you lose. I have some tickets, so I think I would exchange them for like some some gems and try to sell it. I can make some money that way, but I think I can bait this guy out. This might work out. I just gotta be real cheesy. His eyes don't work so well, so. Rio. He's allowed to do that. Ice cold kung That's fu technique. I thought I'd never see. Congratulations on another promotion. Niawu rarely sees a warrior like you. Great. Now Master Bay will teach me the technique. I should go see him. Who? <laughs> Kid, you can do whatever you want. You just beat everyone up here. I don't know why you're talking to yourself, but at this point, I can't ask. I fear for my physical safety. <laughs> Ice cold kung fu technique equals roundhouse kick to the temple. Hey man, you kick somebody's temple enough, they're not gonna get up anymore. Congratulations, you beat a senior citizen. He was a master, a kung fu master, and he fell to my kicks. Oh, this guy's gonna teach me the real shit. Grandmaster. Hmm? I defeated White Dragon at Wushan Hall. So please, teach me the Baji Chen signature move. Hmm. All right then. Yes. You must know the body check before learning this move. So go do that. Can you do it? Actually, shit, can I? Okay, good. He nodded. He knows what he's doing. The body check is a move where you dodge your opponent's attack and circle around them. Oh shit, it's a counter? Try it. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Me. This is gonna be real bad. <laughs> it just spits up blood. <laughs> God damn it, Rio. Are you fucking kidding me? That was so many buttons. That's it. All right. Oh. Do you want to try again? Yes. Meow Snack, thank you for the sub. Those are the moves, in fact they are. Let's begin. Okay. I wanna do it in not a QTE. Oh Christ. <laughs> it's never not gonna be funny. Just gets his ass beat. Ow! Alright. Oh, 
cheese. That's it. <laughs> All right. Do you want to try again? The first one, I broke his rib. The second one, I popped it back into place. Sure, I got it. You may well learn the technique, but if you lack the proper skill, it will not be effective. I really don't believe this so about tapping forward. Training. Yes, of course. Thank you. Did you figure out what the Baji Trend signature move is? Yeah, Grandmaster Bay taught it to me. Sweet. This time that bear guy's going down. You, me, 5 p.m. In front of the Red Snake's hideout. Got it? Got it. Okay. Uh, got until 5 o'clock. A couple of hours. That's enough time to, I guess... I guess I can exchange... Oh, the boat's gone. Fuck. I was gonna exchange my tickets. Okay, there's another place to do it. Hopefully they have gems and shit. Oh, and Deadpool, hey. Uh, if anyone is interested still, this video is four years old with Adobe doing a demo on their crazy audio manipulator. Ooh. I was wondering if the fight against the animal moves guys is a scripted loss. I don't know, Mr. Marathi. I was I was just wondering that myself because I I feel like I got him like down a half to a third health. It was a fairly close fight last time I fought him. I can only assume that when you beat him, then it goes to a cutscene of Ryo getting his ass whipped. That's gotta be how it is, right? Or they just let you bypass this whole sequence of the game. You don't have to learn the... Man, I'm not even gonna try to remember how what it's called. <laughs> There's my guy again. What's up, USA? Use? I don't know what his, I don't know what his deal is. Body check? Yeah, we'll just call it that. Super body check. Got a sweet move and you get to play more Shenmue, so you came out ahead. That's very true. That's very, very true. Also, this is exactly where I want to be if I got to burn some time. Might as well play some Afterburner. Oh yeah, there's the girl who like chides me. She gives me her ice cream joke. You want some hot ice cream? That's not real! You idiot! Ah! Right here. Yep. Another day in Shenmue. Okay, pick your prize. Nobody knows what I'm talking about, but... That lady's got jokes. Oh, Christ. These are not... Uh, none of these would probably sell for much. I mean, I guess I'll take... I can take a lot of garlic. I guess that that's one of the things I needed. Um, sure. I was hoping to get money so that I could buy more... Uh, power drink? Did you know that you can sell the prizes? They can really... Yeah, I guess I might as well. What, what is that? Oh, it's time warp. Okay. Hi, trade your... It's like a jumping okay. icon. A hooray icon. <laughs> maybe, perhaps knowing that I would celebrate the plot moving forward. Yeah, maybe I can sell these space fighters? It doesn't really tell you how much they're worth, though. Oh, I can't afford it, though. Bought too much garlic. I'll buy some furniture. All right. Go sell it. Man, Microsoft Sam was the best. I was a pretty big. F well, I guess I only saw a couple of the videos, but the memes where they replace dialogue in a movie with everyone with Microsoft Sam. Ah. It's just so expressive. Uh, I'm not. Oh, yeah. These are. Okay, that's worth no money. Great. Well, I'll always have my Panama hat. 
my unequipable Panama hat, and my photo of my man with necktie photo. Uh, what treasures? What beautiful treasures? Sorry, come back. Might be able to go talk to that French maid girl. I mean, she usually steers me the right way in general, so yeah. I should check in with her, see what's good. Do you really have several pieces of furniture on you? Yes. Do you have a minute? Hey, want something to drink? Never, no. Not exactly. Yeah. You must be tired from walking up the stairs. We have an open terrace with a great view. I see. She's cute. And she's helped poor Rio. For some reason. Praise God, the tomato convenience store is back. So, this is a drugstore, which means I can probably buy... Like, super power juice here, whatever the heck it's called. Maybe not. Sorry, um... Ah, a patient! Welcome! Huh? I don't get many patients anymore. Things have been far too quiet. But that's not reflective of my service, no sir. The people of Niao are simply too healthy. These days, my only patients are injured petty criminals. There's lots of talk about some thugs who will fight anyone they cross paths with, though. Oh. I just hope I get to see more patients, criminals, thugs, or otherwise. It gets awfully lonely around here. <laughs> Do forgive me. I'm blabbering on while you just stand there. Uh, please, sit. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, have some dim sum. This guy's a little... No, thanks. Got a little clingy. Sorry. I have yeah, to go. I, I gotta go. It's like, you should eat, eat. Here, sit down, sit down. Hey, let, no, let's talk, let's talk. Man. <laughs> Do you want, you want food? Hey, you look like you could use a back rub. How's a back rub, buddy? Here, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Let's just talk, let's just talk. Haha. <laughs> We can talk, it's fine. I'm normal. This is all normal, this isn't weird. Sit down. It is It is rare for Ryo to be in a conversation where he's creeped out. I don't think this is a shoppy, oh, maybe it is. Whatever your ailment, we have the remedy. We also purchase herbs from collectors. There we go. Oh, they're 300. All right. Yeah, the snake power. The healing items you can use in combat. Figure that might be very useful when it comes to uh, doing boss fights. Um, let me go. I can go chop some wood and buy another one. Or I can just try to go do the event. Um, I'm going to go chop wood. Because uh, it's Shenmue. And I'll be goddamned if I uh, don't make the, the most of my time. I miss dim sum. Oh, me too. Luckily, um, Stephanie is a dumpling connoisseur, a dumpling enthusiast. So she found a couple of places to buy dim sum frozen, and it's super simple to prepare. You know, whether you're doing pot stickers or, or steamed. But yeah, I've got some like shumai and stuff in the and uh, pot stickers and stuff in the freezer. You can just bust them out and have a nice dinner. The secret is buying dumpling sauce, and I know that sounds dumb as hell, but yeah. It's cheap. You can get it on the internet. Dumpling sauce and uh, sriracha. I need to get some oyster sauce, but I mostly want it for when... No, now that I think about it, whenever I order Vietnamese, it usually comes with enough. Or maybe I don't need it. I feel like it would be good as just a general seasoning. I'd probably find things to use it in uh, if I just had it around. There was probably a way to chop wood closer, but whatever, I'm here now. I'm using more stamina running around, too. There's our guy. Chopping wood, huh? That's hard work for little pay, but you chop quick. Let me chop. Of course. Just a good stir-fry base. I could see that. It's just so flavorful. And it's got like... 
It's that combination of like sweet and savory and umami. There's like very little it doesn't go with and make and taste more delicious. That's the way. It's the MSG of sauces. Speaking of, I have MSG now and I need to use it more. Just like that. Bullseye. I'm gonna be so goddamn healthy, you guys. Yeah. My lunch was like Good. roast vegetables, Brussels sprouts, and fish. That's the way. And it wasn't like from a restaurant, so it wasn't like swimming in butter and oil. Bullseye. I mean, I used some oil, otherwise there'd be no calories at all, you but... Did it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice shot. Good. Chopping tension, Mark II. Yeah. What kind of fish? Salmon. That's Smoked salmon. Just like that. It was basically shaved Brussels sprouts that I... Uh, sauteed in a pan for a little bit and some oil Bullseye. with some roast vegetables that was also roasted in oil with some herbs and stuff Good. and then uh, smoked salmon Bullseye. it was delicious you did it that's the way yeah that's the way All right. Impressive for such a young man. I mm, still don't have enough. I, I swore that would be Let enough. Chop some wood. Huh? Oh sh! Oh wait, it's at five. Okay. It's like oh, it's after three. No, it wasn't three. Uh, that's crazy. That our parents' generation, by and large, never learned how to roast vegetables and make them taste good. So we all grew grew up eating yeah. boiled mush vegetables, thinking we hated them. So, I don't know. I, I Sometimes I think about it like... That's the way. My... You did it. I think it more is like roasting vegetables is kind of time intensive. Yeah. You know, when you've been working all day, I don't think That's it's really reasonable to expect to like come home and prepare some vegetables yeah. and get them in the oven so that, you know, 40 minutes later That's you can have way. a dinner for people. I would say that's probably it. It's just like you just don't have the time. Good. It doesn't really take that much time, yeah. but still. That's the way. If I had to cook for a family, I don't know yeah. that I'd be serving them roast vegetables a lot. Good. Which is a shame because yeah, That's roasting vegetables is so good. Good. I've recently discovered it myself, or I've recently started exploring it more fully. Just like that. Crazy how proper preparation makes food taste so much better. Yeah, it, it is. Um, very basic ingredients can taste wonderful if they are uh, fresh and prepared well, seasoned properly. Yeah. That's the way. I'm I'm slowly finding my like my my touch there. You did it. And I'm uh, I'm kind of breaking out of a bad cycle that I was in where like. I would order a lot of groceries, and I would frequently be trying to use the food that was just about to spoil. And I would never, like, eat spoiled food, but I also didn't want to waste anything. Um, so I'd always kind of just be chasing the the food freshness meter in the in the fridge. But I finally like, cooked, cooked enough at home that I've kind of gotten through a lot of the groceries and stuff that I have. So no, I'm using fresh, fresh ingredients more often. So. <laughs> chasing the rot. Yeah, getting ahead of the timetable instead of behind it. All. And it does make a difference. Especially with things like vegetables. The texture is just so much better if it's like a really fresh veggie. Ready to get suspicious? Yeah, apparently we're doing the Town of Salem mod, which I've never used before. Which I guess has more rolls. It's crazy. Yeah. Onion, salt and pepper that smells good starter pack. Yeah. Well, you need oil, you need oil or butter if you want to you want to get those oils or those onions sizzling. Okay. I don't know why I'm running back here. There's not a lot of reason to do that. But I want to well, I guess I don't know where a closer pharmacy is, so whatever. 
Yeah, olive oil and garlic. Uh, yeah, that to me, that's like the... That's like the base... The base good shit combo. Although, I gotta admit, I think I like the uh, the aroma of sesame oil more than olive oil. Like, olive oil is good. It's got that kind of fruity, savory, meaty aroma. Um, you know, smells like olives. But, uh... I better eat something before I fall Man, over. sesame oil just has that... That roast, like, that kind of toasty smell. I haven't messed much with grapeseed oil. That's one of those super high high smoke point oils, right? Sesame oil is dangerous. You can use too much so easily. I, mean, I, I would say that's all oil. You got to really measure your oil. Because, yeah, just a little bit goes a very long way. All right. Okay. I got two... Two in combat heals. Let's save the game. Oh, it's after five. Wait, what? Oh no, wait, that's that's right now. Never mind. I was like, I missed the time, how did I miss it? Alright, let's go. Ryo doesn't know who he is or where he's from. All he knows is that he must kill. Hey, get over here. What is it? First the red snakes, now this little Betty. I got a new exactly what we up against. I got a new character? Uh, you're asking me? What? <laughs> this is too late in the game. We mean you no harm, man. For character Trust models that us. matter. The people here go. I have no idea who you mean. The red snakes that were holed up here. And that guy that looks like a gorilla. Not exactly hard to miss. <sighs> I had them leave. This land belongs to me, so I had them leave. Wow. Do you know where they went? They said they were headed to the old castle. Uh Castle? The one across the water. They even took a young lady. A young lady? Yo, let's go. Nothing left to do here. I mean, she might have had a little more information about any of that. The one time Ryo should have stuck around and talked, he didn't. Yeah, that's a... None of these were developments I was expecting. I bought an energy drink and everything for this. You there! Huh? I have a letter for you. Hmm? Hmm. If you want to save your little girlfriend, bring uh. a mirror to the old castle. <gasps> they got her. Where's this from? A woman suddenly appeared and left here with your friend. <sighs> the red snakes got your friend. Oh no. What? She played us like fiddles. Come with me. She looking at the camera in a flashback? That woman. Is this girlfriend that girl that was with you? I'm going to help her. Now hold it. There's nothing we can do today. Damn. Just sleep on it, okay? Glavin Chris. Let's meet at the port tomorrow to Thanks for the, the sub. But I learned that move in everything. Now I gotta hatch a plan? Fuck! It's late. I must save Shenhua. Yes, you must. This is absolutely your fault, Ryo. Christ. Fuck. I was gonna go beat up a gang leader and now I've lost my almost girlfriend. Rough day for Ryo. Rough day. The goal is pushed further yet again. It, yeah. That is, uh... That is correct. The goalposts have shifted. After I spent all that money. After. Couldn't have happened before. Well, I guess they got her. Let's go to sleep. Tomorrow's another day. 
Leaving a girl with a bunch of gangsters in an old castle overnight. We have to plan. She'll be fine. She knows how to pick herbs and stuff. Yeah, sleep like a baby. He trained hard today, Drummer Fergie. Of course he's gonna conk out. Doesn't have a whole lot in his, on his mind. If you want to save your little girlfriend, you need to work 20 shifts at the docks. Oh, man. I can see that happening. Or they just, like, hit me with a ransom the that they castle? decide to pay. It's that building right on top of that mountain. It used to belong to nobles that ruled over Nyawu. So, Shenhua's there. Hey. <laughs> What's that? I like that base, though. Huh. Do you unironically like Shenmue? I think I do. I think I do. But that's largely born from playing so many games that I just appreciate how different um, Shenmue is. How uh, surprisingly dedicated to its vision. That's eh, just a crappy counterfeit. But wait. It might be useful for something. I think I'll ah, uh, welcome back, Violet. Go for the trading card, not VIP or ban. Yeah, you'll you'll get a physical good for sure that if way. It comes down to it, I can bribe them with it. No way. What would happen to Shenhua if they found out it's fake? Yes, welcome back. <sighs> get in the game, would you please? That mirror is the key to the treasure. I can't go along. There's with no, that idea. there's absolutely no actual evidence that there's a treasure Whatever. involved. He just convinced case, himself of that, boat to take us and then would hear nothing to the you contrary. The ready. So, fine. Just want that to be known. What will you do? Oh, I've got a little something in mind. When you're ready, come to the second floor of the ferry terminal. Got it. <laughs> Standing like a normal guy out on the docks. He has such a kick-ass jacket. He does. Alright, well. Guess I'll save again. Why is he up here, anyway? Oh, that's right. He's staying here. I forgot. <laughs> there are beds up here for some reason. Hey, Ren. Hey, you find a boat? What? I was supposed to do that? No, not yet. What's the hold up? Don't worry. Jeez. A boat. Where should I? Oh my god, you're at the Are docks. You stupid? Rio. What? You won't find one in the mountains. You go to a river or to the sea. Oh no. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Oh, it hurts I to be called out like that. Right. Oh my god, he just straight up said it. He just straight up said it. Do you have a... Hmm? I have a question. I'm looking for a stolen item. Still looking? Step it up, man. What? Man, you're really useless. I want nothing to do with it unless there's coin in it for me. <sighs> <sighs> I know it's tough out there, Rio. Okay, let's go get us a boat. Let's charter us a boat. Oh, man. God. Do you know where boats are? <laughs> I hope it's just... Excuse me. Can you tell me where to find you a boat? Help? I'm the tour guide for Nyawu, so I can help you find just about anything. What do you want? I need your help with something. Is there any way to get to the old castle? That's a tall order. That site currently isn't available to tourists. I see. And Rio gives up. Oh, well, it's time to talk to. Everyone that has the misfortune of standing by the water line. It came over. <laughs> yeah, just... Womp. The threads of fate were severed. Where'd the boat go? I can't talk to her. Sadly, there... There are people yet that this game will not allow me to harass. Alright, here we go. One of these guys has got to have the score. Excuse me. Got to have the info. Oh, there go my knees acting up again. It looks like I'm getting up there in my years, too. I'm trying to get to the old castle across the water. Would you mind if I borrowed your boat? To the castle, you say? I'm afraid my boat sprung a leak. 
You can't fix it? It's being fixed, but who knows when it'll be ready. I'm sorry. Could you ask someone else? I see. Yeah, they're gonna want to get paid, right? 2,000 you're on? Excuse me. Stay out of the way. We can't have people loitering what we're trying to fish. There's something I want to ask. Is there any way to get to the old castle? I don't know. Anyone who can get over there has probably gone to fish. I see. Okay, we're getting some details. We're getting some... Excuse me. Some angles. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? I'm trying to get to the old castle. The castle, eh? Sorry to say, I've already promised someone a ride. Sorry? I got the money up front, so I can't take the boat out now. He's some rich guy from somewhere. He's taking his sweet time, too. Sorry, but you're gonna have to ask someone else. I see. Yeah. Oh, actually, hmm. I, uh, I'm really motivated to continue this investigation. But unfortunately, I think I have to step away because I want to cook dinner real quick for me and Steph. Excuse me. Are you a fisher, too? You can have my spot if you want. Actually, I have a question. As someone from the UK, when and which day should I catch your stream? Um, this week, I'm going to be streaming a bit earlier on Tuesday and Thursday. I've never heard of um, Which I believe puts it in the Anyone evening your time, so... Probably gone I'll be live around 11 a.m. Uh, on Tuesday and Thursday. 11 a.m. Pacific. Um, if you do some... Do some some light googling. Hopefully, you can figure out what that is in your time time zone. Oh, also, if you if you use the schedule command, um, excuse me, you can get a link to a public Google calendar that should automatically adapt to your time zone if you add it to your calendar. I'm trying to get to the old castle across the water. I think to the castle. You should ask a fisherman then. They'll take you across. He said, holding a fishing rod. It's not free though. Ugh. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh, the channel schedule is usually correct. Yeah. Excuse Unfortunately, I I have to see the this week and next week. I'm gonna have to do a lot of. Take me across the river. I'm not gonna be very reliable on the schedule, unfortunately. Well, I guess I have my little raft here, but. Oh. Is it just going to be you? No. One you can make two trips. Actually. You can make two trips. In that case, I ah, uh, you can you can work There's this out. Really enough room for me and my cormorant. You can work this out. And we'd sink before getting to the other side. You can make this happen. I see. God, there's ways. I really need to cross the river, though. Any ideas? Ask somebody with a boat. Uh huh. Okay. Thanks. Jeez. All right. Well. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, I'm gonna save. And uh, I'll pick this up next time. Next time on Shenmue 3. Uh, but for now, I mean, progress is nice. Things have happened. But uh, I'll be back and I want to say about 20 minutes uh, with uh, Among Us, with Alana, and let's see here. Who else is... Let's see here. Who's the, who's the star-studded cast? We're raising money to uh, fund lupus research. We're trying to murder lupus. Um, Bruce, Jacob, and John on this particular chain. It's actually like a birthday stream for somebody that I'm not familiar with. Um, it's loading. Loading, hold on. Tiffany Witcher or T Witcher. Guess it's her birthday today. And as, because of that, she's raising money uh, for the Lupus Foundation of America. So cool stuff um so i'm gonna leave it here for now and uh there will be random clips in the meantime while i'm cooking and uh, i'll be back later with intrigue suspicion uh spying stabbing werewolves i'm not sure what's in the town of salem spawn but i'm sure i'll figure it out all right i'll see you guys in a bit Back in one of the greatest video games ever made, greatest tale ever told. Next month will be the one year anniversary of me discovering the greatest game of all time, That's So Raven for Game Boy Advance. That did actually seem like a interesting game. Interesting. It seemed interesting.
All right, I guess I'm trying to find a boat. I need a boat to drive me to a castle where they took my acquaintance. And I'm inquiring as... I'm, I'm talking to fishermen. Excuse me. See if any of them have a boat Fishing I can... Fishing is nice. Charter. Drop the line. Watch the surface. What a way to spend time. Nothing but action, really. I'm trying to get to the old castle across the water. To the castle? You should see if the fish... Yeah, that's true, spirits. I was if dreading pay, paying for it. Across. So I'm gonna have to raise Thank more money. Much. Luckily, I'm a crack hand at the fork. Oh, my homie's fork. Excuse me. They're missing among us. It? Yeah, actually just finished. No fishing today. I want to cross the river. To the other side? It was really fun. I've never done the uh, town of Salem mod before, but it was Whoa, it was a good time. Slow down, kid. Lee Jung River is no joke. It's huh? right there, dude. It... A river this big would swallow up any raft us cormorant fishermen use. All right. Really? These rafts are only good for gentle, shallow waters. If you want to get across, you're going to have to find a boat. A boat, huh? Chet's been missing the girl, 1992. So yeah, I do need to find that video boat? and clip that out. Can't say I do. I see. The uh, I can't find a boat that'll. The get easiest way the would river. probably just be to display capture. I should ask Mr. <laughs> and ben. yank it off of YouTube. Why would he know? He's a kung fu master. He doesn't know about boats. Maybe he does. I don't know. Rio can make some very concerning leaps of logic. But we roll with it. Again, we're not in control here. This is Rio. This is Rio's game. It's his story. We're just along for the ride. Oh wait, hold on. I missed a turn. Yeah, you can still donate though. That's true. So yeah, we were playing Among Us with uh, Al Alana has a friend. And it's her birthday. And because apparently she's the most beautiful human being to ever live, she's using her birthday to raise money for the uh, American... Oh, wait. The Lupus Foundation? Some some sort of Lupus Foundation. I'm blanking on the name right now, but... They want to make sure Lupus goes away. And that's a pretty wonderful cause. Lupus Foundation of America. Okay. All right. I was close. I kept wanting to say American Lupus Foundation. For some reason, I'm always paranoid of of saying saying an entity like that as framing it as though that they are pro lupus. I'm fairly certain that this this place does not like lupus. It is definitively anti lupus. What's up, Big Mac? Eight nineteen. How am I doing today? I'm I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I gotta admit, it's been a nice day. It's been a, a kind of productive day, I guess. Um, getting things done, getting things figured out. Got more, like, exciting work news today, but it just, you know, it means more work. It's gonna be... I have an interesting timeline coming up, and I won't be streaming for... Like, after Thursday, it's gonna be a while. I'm gonna be bouncing around, doing a lot of stuff. Hi, Mr. Sure. Oh, it's you. Do you have a moment? Oh? Uh -huh. What's up? I need to find a way across the river. Have you removed many you know videos from MediaTek? What do you need to go? Not really, no. Um, I've taken out, I took out all the to catch a predator it's stuff. Shenhua. That was kind of in the early Shen days. What? She was abducted I, uh, and taken to the old castle. I don't know. It's just what? Despite the you say? divine justice oh, of it, girl. it doesn't really. Uh, yeah. Which is not not comfortable things to, to think about. I guess it's just mm. sad. Um, you want so there's that, and then there was like some British yes. celebrity that was a very, I very bad you. man. Really so do. he was featured in like a, a commercial block. So sorry. Wouldn't you be better off asking around that? That's the basically it. Or the riverbank? No. Oh, well, yeah. There ain't a river or a boat in sight out this way. I'll think on it, but you'd better ask at the fishing wharf or the port. Wait a minute. Okay then. Is that not Mr. A Grandmaster Bay? Oh, is that the fish? Oh, never mind. That's the creepy fisherman, I think. I went the wrong way. Never remove cane from your media tech. It never ends well. I would never. So, yeah, JC was that that person. Um, I need to add more Command and Conquer, specifically cane. That's a there's a cane-sized hole in media tech right now. Ugh. I 
I don't know, I think for, uh, for obvious reasons when I have stuff to do, editing out media tech clips kind is like bottom priority. It's just if I get a couple of hours where there's you know, nothing to do. But that's been more and more rare lately. There's actually been more conversations, more work, more potential. I don't know, things move slowly, but there's been more stuff. It's kind of interesting. This game is really pretty, though. I think it looks really good. Um, it's got that trademark Unreal Engine motion blur, kind of. Well, it doesn't really have motion blur. I don't know. There's just something about the animation that looks very Unreal Engine. Kind of reminds me of, like, how EDF Iron Rain looked. It was just something about the way it moved. You're like, yeah, that's Unreal. Um, but apart from that, I think it looks great. I think it looks really good. For what, like, the budget and the staff they have. I guess I don't know those things, but I presume it's not gigantic. Ooh! Once you, oh wow, this is this it? We've done it. The mysteries of Shenmue Three are about to be laid bare. Oh yeah, Pop Tart. There's also you. Uh, you've sent me a ton of links that are all all great. Me. I just haven't added them. I know you've requested more gacked. I need to cross the river. Could you lend me a boat? Oh, it's really cute stuff. What for? The red like. snakes have someone I know. Steph looks really, I Steph looks really cute back. right now. Hmm. Please. I'm running out of time. Are you asking me to knowingly send you into harm's way? I just... Oh, I think I have added the hammer X ad, that JC. Castle. It's in there. It is a stronghold of the wicked. Huh? Huh? You're not ready. It won't be like fighting one or two of those red snakes. I don't care. I have to go. I don't care. Yeah. <sighs> I see you have no intention of listening to me. So? Is he going to bring Ren? So I'll prepare your boat. Might as well bring your bro. Thank you very much. Bring your homie. Wait a while. I'll have the boat ready by morning. Need to get 10,000 a book. Thanks to get me. another book. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate hidden technique. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna do this stupid, like, dash elbow thing in a cutscene or something. If they ask me to do that in a fight, it's going to be very upsetting and scary. And yes, I need to race frogs. <laughs> Go race frogs for three hours. <sighs> Hold on, Shenhua. We'll head to the pier in the morning. So this is it? This is my last day? I'm gonna go play Space Area. <laughs> What else is there to... I'm trying to think of other activities. There's some, like, mini-games. Um, I guess there's, like, sparring in the Rose Garden. There's some... Um, I was gambling. Need to do forks on your last day? Do you think, though? I don't know. It's like, your last day in a town, you don't really go to work. I guess maybe you might swing by and say hi to everybody. Or bye to everybody. If you're moving out. Moving to the big city. I'm getting on a boat and going to an old castle to try to beat up a gang leader. Well, it was more than just gacked. Yeah, I just, I remember you requesting that specifically. Video game, Dragon Ball Z, Xenoblade commercials too. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to add. It's weird because when I do things in bulk, it kind of changes the mix. Honestly, I think I'm going to go through and either trim out or edit down a lot of the, like... There's just some really long award show clips in there, and they're not that interesting. So, I need to trim those down, I think. Focus on the highlights. When I first started clipping those out, I, um, I was kind of focused on length. Just, just filler. Enough so it, um, seemed random. Now that I have enough that it's random, I feel like I can start looking at some of the ones that kind of drag on a little too long. The thing is, though, it's, it's tough to figure out where to draw the line between investing into like editing and, and like razor tuning the length and substance of each clip and to just trust in the randomness of it. Yeah, whatever. Wait, does this game have, it kind of doesn't have classic Sega games, does it? Like that's just not a thing. Part of the charm of some of the clips is that they drag. Yeah. I could see that. I, I just, it's hard for me to tell, I guess. I'm going to try. All right, fine. All 
Okay. I don't know. Is it just up and down? I guess so. All right. Oh, they're going to start fucking with me, though. They're not going to come all the way out of bed. Rio's low on cash. I had to buy that stupid book. Of course I'm going to be low on cash. I'm going to have to talk to people on the phone for a long time tonight. Yeah, I think I do need some walking around money, actually. I don't want to say goodbye to what... I can't remember his name. Guilon? Guilon? Willing. You form shockingly uh, deep relationships with the people you work with in these games, since you usually have a job of some kind. Best decision Sega ever did was to stay as far as possible away from Shenmue 3. Yeah! It's hard to disagree with that. I don't know how you can say that looking at this white-hot gameplay. Oh! Okay. I don't know if you had lives or anything. Probably not, I'm gonna guess. Yeah. Get my tickets. <laughs> uh... Alright. Ticket. I got the top score. Feels good. I'll keep going. Yeah, see, he loves games. He loves redemptions. Well, maybe I'm reading too much into it. It's just a coin flip. I can win a giant dish. Maybe I should play one. I think Ryo likes tasks. I think you're right. Yeah. I agree with that. Okay, there is a Sega logo. I just remember the music being pretty hot in this stupid game. Oh! How did I, how did I fuck it up already? Cancer to my ears. Yeah, it just keeps going. I'm just gonna fail out. Ultra fail. How dare you? <laughs> Maybe I got some tickets out of it. Hey! I did it. Just one more. I won't keep playing. I'll pass. I love it. 
Why not just why not just have that be the game? So wait, where's this tick where's the wheel that I spin? Is it upstairs? You gotta ask the lady. Just one more. Yeah, I'll just keep playing. Excuse me. Oh hi, welcome. Are you having fun? Uh I guess so. As you should be. We're the best arcade in Yawu. I've got way better games than those dinky stands at the harbor. Go on, enjoy yourself. I will. Thanks. Where's the wheel? Today's challenge. I want to win that plate and sell it so that I don't have to go work the forklifts. Maybe it is up here. Yeah, I will. Thanks. Very emotive. I don't remember being up here, though. I don't think there is one. Maybe exchange the tickets for something? Oh, who cares? I'm wasting time, burning daylight. I gotta go see my homies at the dock. <laughs> Activating enjoyment protocol. <laughs> Energizing enjoyment matrix. Fun commencing in three, two, one. Hooray. Hooray. This game rules. I can't believe it. It might, it might be over. Then I'll have to play- I'll have to play Yakuza. <laughs> I'll move down the game quality ladder. That's a lie. That's an absolute lie. I'm just trying to troll. What about a- what about a crossover though, huh? Think about that. Maybe that's how you- how Shenmue can survive. That becomes one of the many Yakuza spin-offs. You have to play a good game next. What a shame. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I, I really love Yakuza 0. The writing's fun. It, it really has the, like, the pacing and the... Uh, I'm I'm curious to go to, to like, older slash remade Yakuza's. Because I don't... As I recall, the older ones were just not that goofy. And not that funny. Um, whereas Zero is totally at home with all that. Oh, right. Docs. I'm playing Zero after this. I mean, not tonight. No. I'm, I imagine finishing this will probably... That's what I'm going to try to do, but I have no idea how long the end of the game is. That'll probably be it. <clears throat> and then tomorrow... Tomorrow is THC Tuesday, but I can't remember what's on the slate. I'm um, going to be playing Resident Evil 6 with Bruce in the evening again. So that's going to be awesome. Hi, Mr. Dejing. Dejing, that's it. Hey, bud. Dejing. You came at a good time. Want to do some work? Just five more hours. Just five more hours. Sure. Oh, Man, great. Man, that game was I great, though. Really use the help. Man, that game Let's was great. I'm looking forward to replaying 7 Remake. Hopefully it's, um... Hopefully Intergrade comes out on PC not too much long after console. Although, if it comes out on PS5... Take those items to the ship. Using the fork... I have to... Oh, man. All right. Huh. I'm going to try... Okay. That's that's my feeling on this situation. Huh. I spent very nearly two hours, one hour and forty-five minutes, on the phone with Sony, waiting on Sony support today. Um, and I finally got like a, a replacement order for the DualSense because the I got the I got the drift. I gotta ship it to a place in Texas. Uh. And I'm gonna be without the controller for a while, so they're, they'll like they'll cover the cost of the repair, but not the cost of shipping. So I gotta get a box for it and, and shit. So I'm just like, eh, I don't know. I guess they're they're doing it right. So uh. it's really weird too. The um, the specific problem with mine is that. It was, it was bizarre. So it has this, like, reset button in the back that you have to hit with, like, a pin or a needle or something like that. When you do that, it's supposed to, like, reset the synchronization, but for my for some reason, mine just doesn't. Which might be part of the problem. I don't know. It's acting a little aberrant. Oops, wrong button. Sorry it took so long. Hopefully they get it fixed. Yeah. I mean, I... I can't complain too much. Like, for, for starters, I'm lucky to even have access to a PS5, even though it's technically not mine. It's No, it's it's 100% not mine. <laughs> it's Stephanie's. Shit, that happened again. That's so weird. Is there, like... Am I running into something? No, I still kind of hit it. That was very weird. 
Man. Forklift, Forkin teaches me new things even on my last day. But yeah, uh, it's gonna hurt your time. It is. That's okay. I already had the immaculate uh, box delivery. Every last box delivered before the time was up. There's more boxes here though. Six, six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah. I'm trying to remember what other what other d weird game I picked up. Oh yeah, the uh, the Cyanide and Happiness game, Freak Apocalypse. It has some mixed reviews on Steam, but I've always liked that webcomic. So, and I, I respect like people, I don't know, sticking with sticking with what they've made and continually investing in it and building it and growing it and trying new things. So it's been fun to watch them go from like webcomic to animation and now to video games. So, kind of want to check that out. Oh yeah, maybe more Loop Hero? I really like Loop Hero. I want to play more of it. Ah, missed my turn. Wait, at the end of Shenmue 3? I think so. It gave me the heads up that like once I once I initiate the next story event, there will there is a point of no return. So pretty much, pretty much there. Um Although it's confusing, multiple NPCs told me that I would have to pay a boat to take me. But um that ended up not being the case. So that's good, I guess. So this is basically the last day in the city. Narcoleptic Ryo could could probably hit the sack right now and, and push myself towards the endgame, but I'm just taking one last tour around tour around my life here. Just really, really soaking it all in. Are there plans for more roulette streams in the future? Yeah, soft I mean soft plans. I have a couple of like the, I guess the big stream events I have kind of in my head is I want to play through everything Doom once the DLC 2 comes out. It'll be like 2016 Eternal DLC 1 and 2 in the same stream. See if I can. I have some ideas about how to how to orchestrate that. Um, but that's that would be like a 24 hour, probably over 24 hour stream. And then, uh, yeah, I want to do DS Roulette. So same with Game Boy Advance, same same rig out, just with DS games instead. But I just I need the time actually, not just to set it up, but actually the time to uh, to stream it. I've got a wild couple of weeks coming up. Plans for more drunk streams in the future. Mm. Oh, Bruce and I did see we were gonna do something. Oh, Mario Golf. Yeah, oh, Mario Golf comes out. We're gonna do drunk Mario Golf. I mean, Cory in the house game. <laughs> Maybe yes, if the if the roulette is kind. Drunk speed golf. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, I uh, there's there's a lot of potential to like yeah make it physical. Um, and if, if everyone's been vaccinated by then, I can kind of... That really opens up the possibilities. This may come as a surprise, but I'm unbelievably pumped for Mario Golf. No, it's, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, glad to hear you're excited about something coming up. Get something to get amped about. Something to look forward to. Do you like? Do you typically like Mario Golf games? I've always really enjoyed them. They're really fun. Same with like, uh, oh shoot, the tines are up. Ah, oh, embarrassing myself on the last day. There we go. Probably be the best golf game on the market. Oh, you think? Are you not into like sim golf games? I guess. Well, you tell me. Is it? Is it just like only Tiger Woods? PGA Pro Tour. What's the What's the golf video game scene like these days? Ugh. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm working my second job right now. Not for too much longer, though. We're actually getting near the end of the game. Oh, wait, they don't make Tiger Woods anymore? Wow, okay. Did that not turn into another series? Yeah, I guess I guess once he was in his last scandal, they dropped it, didn't they? They have something called Golf Club, but it's really weird and janky. Okay. I realize after Persona Strikers, there's nothing I'm looking forward to. Finally, my wallet can rest. Yeah, we have a we have a stretch here, don't we? There's a there's a bit of a gap. We get to catch up on some stuff like Shenmue Three. Oh, there's a Hot Shot to Golf. Yeah, I actually it's called Everybody's Golf. I think. Yes. Shit. Yeah, actually, uh, that that is also compatible with PSVR. It's really really good. Or rather, I really liked it. I thought it was really fun. Which is why I'm kind of looking forward to uh, to Mario Golf, since it has motion controls. You can just... swing the shit out of a Joy-Con and fire it across the room. I'm excited. Uh, they renamed Tiger Woods Games to Rory McIlroy once on the Xbox One. Then they dropped the license. Oh, okay. Interesting. I did not know that, but I appreciate the uh, the history. 2K golf. Oh, 2K PGA. All right. Great job, buddy. Any drunk this streams for E3 crazy, type events? But you still love the, the rules to play along. I'm gonna have to um, give you a little extra for this. That's tough because there isn't really an E3 Thanks. anymore. Or there? I mean, we'll see what happens this year. Come on back, you hear? Okay. I'll see you later. All right. I guess I can buy one more thing of. One more energy drink that might help me cruise through the end of the game. I'm trying to think of who else... Who should I say bye to? I should talk... I mean, I should talk to the old man. Maybe we should chop some wood, too, just for old time's sake. Hi there. Hey, boy. You look like you have some strength in those arms. Oh? You have a solid lower back and stable footing. Looks like you have some experience with chopping. Right. Wait, what? Why was it writing down where the- Chopping wood, huh? That's hard work for little pay, but you'd chop quicker than me. Yeah, he's got a strong back. Some wood. Of course, young man. Rio has endured a lot. I would say that's his power. It's perseverance. Dogged, pointless, unthinking, unintelligent perseverance. Which is virtuous in its own way. That's the way! Yeah! You ever spoken to Xu Ying? Uh, Good. who, that, I mean, that name sounds really familiar, Bullseye. but it's not, I'm not sure right off the top. That's the way. Remind me who that is. Just like that. She was in one of the temples, right? Just like that. Yeah. Just like that. We get Rio's curl back. No, Bullseye. I'm going tomorrow. She's been abducted for, I think, two solid days now. And Rio has mostly dicked That's around. Played some arcade games, went to work. Just like that. He really doesn't seem that concerned. Bullseye. But that's okay. Things were different in the 80s. We're on 80s time. Yeah. And honestly, like, chopping wood with this Just music like to a that. setting sun is pretty 80s. Good. What's up, old bones? You did it. Howdy and welcome. Just like that. Kind of like the other music more. Yeah. Deer, deer, deer. Bullseye. Just like that. I was watching roman romancing the stones. Or uh, romancing Such the stone. It's a very fun film. Yeah. It's about rogues and adventure. No. I'm good. Didn't think so. This isn't a lot of films like I guess like Guardians of the Galaxy. Money, after all. Movies where the lead is like an irascible scoundrel. It's like ah, 
Oh, you. It's an archetype that's hard to hit. Find those sailors yet. Uh, I actually think I did. Yeah, I found the sailor I needed to. Now I just have to wait for the, the morning for some reason. I guess that's the easiest time to take over in terms of cutscenes. They can just grab you. I actually realize I haven't paid, paid rent in a while, too. That's interesting. Uh, I should go say goodbye to the... Uh, the French maid. She's a, She was very helpful. Uh, I'm trying to think of... Is there anyone that... I feel like I'm going to miss. There's some weirdos in this town for sure. But I don't think I've developed an attachment to many of them. I guess maybe that's a mark against Shenmue 3. I feel like... They're... The members of the... the I don't know. I guess that's not true. If I could see UA, UEC or whatever. And if the gambling boat were still here, I'd go talk to the fucking Wind and Moon dealer. I guess I can talk to the guy at the uh, Golden Goose. Where's that... Where's that old dude? I go talk to him. Gambling boat weirdos, yeah. This game's filled with weirdos, man. I actually feel a little more enamored towards some of the characters in the last village than this one, now that I think about it. I can go talk to the weird, uh... Oh, I need to go talk to Ice Cream Girl. I'll let her zing me with her, with her joke again. Just like old times. A second. Hello! How about some ice cream? Not right now. Really? Do you not like cold things? How about some hot ice cream then? Uh-huh. <laughs> Just kidding! There's no such thing as hot ice cream! <sighs> Works every time. You fell for it. You're funny, mister. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Toe cutter. Thanks for the sub. Merry quar quarantine anniversary. Yeah, that's it. We're March now, this is when it happened. Wow. It's so crazy to think back like that first week. Everything's being so, so exciting and new and weird and for- Yes! My boy Uis! I got the camera stuck there. Well, I'll, I'll meet you at the top of the stairs. All right. Hello. Hi there. All right. And, and that's what we say. That's it. That's all we say to each other. We don't have to say anything else. Go say goodbye to the fake fortune teller? Oh yeah, good call. Yes, yeah, I'm right here. Might as well. We've got a nice selection. And just so you know, we also buy medicinal herbs. Hey, ageless stranger. I'm, uh, it seems like I'm closing in on the end of Shenmue, which is... It's, it's exciting and honestly a little, uh, a little wistful. A little wistful for me. Yeah, we are in March. Started work from home on the 23rd. Haven't seen anyone in the office or been in it since. Wow. Yeah, it, it takes your breath away. Uh, it really does. I don't I don't know how to process that. I That means something. And I don't know what it is. And I, I honestly don't know how I feel about it either. Excuse me. Ah, I've been waiting for you. Young man. I guess what creeps me out is how... Thing in fortune telling is? How adaptable... I feel like I've become time. This is because color fortune effects are short-lived. When the result I'm, of the I'm doing okay. You have it feels like something is missing though. Move too slowly and you'll miss your chance at good fortune. Got it. So, maybe I'll maybe we'll try. get it back. Do maternal stream was when Callie went into lockdown. Crazy, right? Yeah, that night. That night. I got the I got the email being like stay-at-home order is now in effect and I was like shit. Well, this is it. I remember thinking that, like, at the time. I was like, this is it for a while. This is this is wild. I guess we, LA theoretically had periods where things opened back up, but... Oh, you were in the Best Buy layoff? Oh, the recent one? There was a recent one? Damn. Sorry to hear that, but hopefully you got... Hopefully you got a chunk of money to just chill for a bit. I know it probably doesn't work that way. McNewy, thank you for the resub, and yeah, crazy how fast here comes and goes. That's kind of what it is. Sure. Just oh, being inside all the time, it, it kind of accelerates time. It makes time this amorphous blob. It's very hard to oh. sort of 
mentally oh, separate the days and weeks. I'm in the middle of practice. Work from home has been horrible as a video editor and gamer. Sorry, Val. Yeah. See you later. Oh, six Stop. weeks? Eh, okay. You can take some of that off. You don't have to. Hopefully you can. I don't know if you're in the place for that. Yeah, can't imagine what this year must have been for people who are more social and have a higher need for that, or who live alone. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, a lot of people had, like, entire chunks of their childhood or their adulthood, including, like, birthdays, graduations, like, a lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of life just evaporated. Um, and yeah, it's, it's scary to think about all the corners of that. I mean, thinking about that will just swallow your soul, I feel like. You gotta, when I start to get like that, I'm just like, nah, let's just... Let's turn the focus inward a little bit. People are people are doing what they're gonna do. It's good to empathize. But I mean, there's uh, yeah. I've, I've talked to some people who do feed off of the energy of others, and it's just you can almost see it in them as people. Like they're just not. It's like a plant that hasn't been watered. It just it's not getting what it needs, and it's almost it's almost sad. <laughs> well, it, it's absolutely sad, I guess, to uh, to see. See good people kind of if I don't withering like that. I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, I want to save my garlic. Might need it later. I want to talk to this old dude, and then I guess I'll I'll swing by the docks. Well, not those docks. The uh, the fishing docks, and chat up anyone along the way. But I don't think there's really all that many fishermen that are worth talking to. Excuse me. My dad thought I was being hyperbolic this time last year when I was saying this would be the event of our lifetimes bigger than 9-11. You... Well, 9-11, well, I wonder. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. I, I think about the ripple effects, the lasting impact. Like, we're still living under the, the effects of 9-11 and probably will for a long centuries, maybe. Um, but yeah, quarantine moved so much of the workforce online moved so much of life and culture online made that the the straw that we have to like breathe through um that it did sort of i think permanently alter the way a lot of things are done i guess some businesses are going to go back to full work in office like operating hours kind of stuff but uh it's hard to imagine it's hard to imagine all work Click, like rolling back to, uh, to 2018. This will probably be the event that separates generations, like 9/11 and the depression and the like. Yeah, maybe. Just all of it, man. I feel like uh, quarantine and then also misinformation campaigns. Or the uh, what's the word? The sophistication. I think it really, it really did become a, a full thing. Hi there. Oh, hi there. Are you here to fish too? This spot is dry as a desert. Not even a nibble. Uh, okay. But that's okay. I don't mind dropping my line and zoning out. Even if I don't catch any fish, sometimes I catch a friend. Uh, okay. I see. <laughs> I see. A pandemic has also made me dislike people a lot. I feel like that's part of not getting a balanced diet in terms of people exposure. I think because of the because of a couple of interchanging dynamics, I think if the internet is your window to the world, it will trend negative. But all the good things that come from people, you know, the warmth, the the momentary kindness, the the laughter. I mean, you get memes off the internet, you get all those you get kindness and, and you can see people doing the, the right things and the noble things online as well. But I just feel like it's, I don't know. The internet's like a filter and it just seems to be 5% off in the wrong direction. Whereas I've always felt like if, if you actually exist with people in person, that I, maybe I should say it this way, like... Being around people makes me less anxious around them. The more I do it, the easier it is. So if I don't do it at all, it suddenly becomes a lot harder. So it's a, it's a skill that I feel like I have to reacquire. 
Or maybe, no, that's not it. It's a feeling I have to reacquire. I shouldn't talk about it like that. It's a, it's like a sense. It's a dance. It's a rhythm. Oh, Xu Ying is the martial arts lady from Shenmue 2? Okay. Uh, I thought, I thought she's like the, need help? she's the cool one, right? The tour guy like she's the adult who so uh, you find just about teaches anything. you moves at the library I wasn't temple thing. To... Apologies for not introducing myself. I'm Wu Xu Ming. Niao Wu's wonderful. We've got great sights, great food, and great nightlife. I see. Oh, when I see anything, people not wearing masks or whatever, it makes me so incredibly head. angry because I didn't I'll, get to see uh, him for a year. Keep that in mind. And I was looking forward to seeing him at the end of all this, and now I won't get to do that. Ah. That is, tr yeah, that is, that is what's, what's frustratingly tragic is that this entire event has made it very obvious just how unwilling some people are to compromise for the public good. How much people will take if they feel like taking. Yeah. That has been that's been hard to swallow, but I guess I don't know, it's tough to see that and not be cynical. But I guess it's also what also kind of makes me feel good though is if I if I go out and I can get through an entire, you know, day or like running errands and everyone's wearing masks and everyone's cool about it and people are just getting it done. Like no one has to be happy. But Hey you I think about my yeah. personal experience you and it's not so coming, bad. Right? You need to pay the bill you've racked up. Don't tell me you don't have any cash. No, I do. Ah, uh, thank you. She got me. Don't pay your rent. It doesn't let me. It doesn't let me choose. Maybe if I stay out like super late, I'll just sneak in after hours or something. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of people that I haven't completely talked to. I think there's one more with Tom, maybe? Ine, Fuxan. I talked to Joy completely, unfortunately. I think there's one more with Goro. Maybe one more with Nozomi. Never played a Shenmue game? They're... They're something. I wouldn't recommend them. But I love them. Father Sky. Nine dragons. Mother Earth. My friend. Warehouse number eight. I'd like to speak to Master Chen. May I ask who's calling? This is Dio Hazuki. One moment, please. New lunch boxum. Thanks for Hazuki. the prime. Oh, it's you, Guizhong. Duke Nukem's cousin. I was just talking lunch to my boxum. father about Tala Shao. I see. You met the Grand Master, didn't you? Yeah. I see. What were your impressions of the Grand Master? Well... Hmm. Get it, man. Well, she was very pretty. The Grand Master was what? Grand Master Tao Li Shao is a woman. Really? I was surprised myself. And she was beautiful, you say? Yeah, I'd say so. Really? She was that beautiful? Um, yeah. I thought so. <laughs> What's wrong, Guizhong? I was just thinking I should pay Grandmaster Tal Lashao a visit sometime. What upsets me oh, the yeah. most about this pandemic has been me? the most at-risk people in my How family doing? being the most careless. Same as ever. Like unvaccinated grandparents just going out and doing whatever really while healthy 24-year-old me stays in a policy rules. I wish I could rules. thank him again in person. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. I developed a bit him. of a... Thanks. So I came to some realizations some about that. I don't know if it... I don't know. Sure thing. But no, what I tell right. myself is that... It's a... Like, those people genuinely may not care. And it's frustrating because they're taking risks with you and your emotions for them if they get sick. But to them, I guess, they're not considering that or don't consider it enough of a motivator to prevent them from doing what they want. Um, and at 79, um, I, I've never been 79. I, and if I were 79, and if I were like, if I get it, whatever, you know what, if, if, I, if that's, if that's me going out, then that's fine. Then I, you know, is it hard to, that's, that's where it gets down to like, it actually is an issue of freedom. I'm not saying that it's right or that it's good. And I know that there's like downstream consequences of that, but it's tough to, it's always dangerous 
or no, it's unspecific. That's the word I'm looking for. It's unspecific exactly where that line is, where you're allowed to tell someone else that they have to change their behavior for the benefit of everyone. Um, I, you know, logically for me, wearing a mask is, is such an easy trade-off, but you know, it's not math. Um, and people are allowed to do what they want to do if they want to put themselves at risk, but it's not just them. And there's all kinds of other factors there. There's the cost, there's, it's not an easy subject at all, but I think what I tell myself is that for other people, it is easy. They think I can do what I want and I don't care. Like if I truly accept that I could get COVID, I should be allowed to not wear my mask. I don't agree with that reasoning, but I can, I, it, I can believe the person that believes that. If that makes any sense. It makes, it just makes it, I guess, mentally digestible for me. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But that's sort of my technique is sort of, I, I just want empathy at some point. Even if I don't agree with somebody's decision, if I can at the very least understand it. Yeah, it is. I think it is selfishness, but people can be selfish. They, they're allowed to be selfish. Hello? Harasaki. It's just like people are allowed to be assholes. They're allowed to yeah. be. And calling it out Hi. doesn't change it and they don't care. Okay. So I'm doing good. That's just the, that's just the Speaking world. China? Yeah. Uh, it's it's frustrating because it shouldn't okay? also then cause yeah. aggravation for There's nothing to worry about for others. Ah, it's that's a frustrating thing. I th should I tell her about martial arts? I should tell her about my martial arts. She's going to be I've very got impressed. My martial arts. Yeah. Yeah, you really helped me. Actually, I think I said that before. I'm sure you can take care of yourself. Just because it's understood doesn't make it okay. No, it's and some people are fine with it not being okay. They don't it's care. It's not like I enjoy putting myself in dangerous situations. I know that, but you take it too far sometimes. I guess I'm just trying to navigate not giving assholes rent in my head. Do you know what I mean? That includes They're allowed to do it. To go to Hong Kong and fighting Enoki in the park. I had no choice. But that's what I worry about. But I can't just. Line has to be drawn when people's lives people are at risk. I care about are in danger. Yeah, I I agree, but even even that is you care about? is arguable, right? Um, yeah, because I mean, of course I care about you, Harasaki. There aren't laws against you, you know doing absolutely friend. anything that yeah, risks people's lives. You can drive a car. A so you know. Yeah. This this is this is stupid. But like, oh yeah, this is a horrible okay. conversation. This is a stupid like, four thousand IQ okay. devil's advocate kind of thing. But no, it always. You can always drive that logic back to, well, we should just outlaw cars, because you could run over somebody. My mother is calling for me. And we have checks, but I it's see. a compromise, right? We have licenses, we have DUIs and stuff sure. like that. I can do that. I don't know. I'm just rambling now, and I'm exploring a complicated right. issue that Talk zone. is only distracting us. I'm talking over somebody getting friend zoned. Well, Rio's doing the friend zoning is the aggravating thing. Yeah, I just I recognize that I had actually heard that conversation before, so I felt a little more Qualified to talk over it. I guess I should should talk about the amulet. That's what I didn't pick before. There are laws against reckless driving. Yeah, yeah, that you're right. You're you're right. But we still let people drive in the first place. Yeah. You're right. There are laws. Yeah. Yeah. I've still got the amulet. The one you gave me. The amulet. I've had it with me ever since I left Japan. <laughs> hey, it's me, Rio again. For good luck. Hey, it's me, Rio. Really? Hey, remember? Remember I've me? I've had some close calls since then, but I've survived them all. All right. I think it might be because your amulet is protecting me. I hope that's true. This is pretty good, Rio. Back on it now, You're doing a good job so far. I wish I yeah, it's from a previous something. game. It's from Shenmue One. Really? Right? To be honest, I only thought of it as a memento at first. Ugh. I thought you'd say that. But my feelings toward it have changed as I've traveled. Changed? It came to me when I received an amulet in Hong Kong. It's not just a thing. It's a person's heart. Hazuki. I feel like I finally understood the feelings of someone who wants me to stay safe. That's why I always carry your amulet with me. That's wonderful. I'm so happy to hear you say that. But, uh... Hazuki? Hmm? What is it, Harasaki? You got an amulet in Hong Kong? Uh. Who gave it to you? Um, a martial arts master who helped um. me out. Oh, I see. So a teacher gave it to you. 
Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, well done. Okay, well played. Okay. Oh, my mother is calling. Yeah, dodge one hundred right there. I see. Can you call me back later? He sure. shockingly navigated that pretty well. There is so much more I want to ask you. All right. Talk soon. Yeah, well done. I never thought I would. I would begrudgingly approve Rio's social performance in any any matter at all. But that was fairly deftly navigated. We're going to chuck that one up to random luck. I think there's one more Goro. Th no, I think I've asked Goro everything. I think I've asked Joya. I think there's one I haven't asked Goro. Let's see. Let's make sure. There might be a third one. Because I, I think I didn't ask him about his wife because that's creepy. Hey, bro. Millie chimps at a typewriter and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mihashi speaking. Try hard enough and long it's enough. Me, Goro. It's about to happen. Oh, is that you? Yeah. Whoops, I didn't. Huh? Uh. That reminds me. Didn't you say you were getting married? Yeah, I'm totally serious about it. Oh, I think I picked that one. Too... What does she say? Did you... Um, does Hisaka approve? Of course. Big... Yeah. Um... Bro. Understand? That you must wonder if it's really okay for a form of punk like me to be with a girl like Mai. Goro. What? I'm... I would go to the ends of the earth for her. I see. Yeah. So... I've heard that one. Yes, sir. I'll choose my next time. I'll call again sometime. Uh, sometimes I think people not wearing masks sure, is a Western thing. Because their whole want. life they have more freedom. Sure and when the government to to told them to do you. something, they felt it hindered their Sounds freedom. Good. My country people Later, wear masks because they are afraid of the consequences. We caught in public without a mask by the government COVID-19 task force who patrol the street day and night. Get in big trouble, either arrested on the spot or fined on the spot. Yeah, America's much more free than that. And we pay the price for it in bodies. It's, uh... The math is right there. It's it's very cold and, and hard to dispute. I guess unless you buy into the fact that like the the numbers have been shifted, whatever. No, that so that's the thing though, right? There are people who very legitimately, straight up, are willing to die for their freedom. Like it's tough to wrap your head around it. But there are people who are okay with that. Hello? They'd prefer it that way. They think it's better that way. They'd rather die. Then have a government that tells them what to do. Even if it's the right thing, they don't care. How is my doing? They're willing to let She's others great. die. Doing very well. Also, that yes, also true. My is always happy and full of energy. You better not do anything to make her cry, Goro. What are you talking about, bro? I'd never do anything to hurt her. You sure? Of course I'm sure, bro. Hmm. Something wrong? Nah, it's just that Mai is really scary when she's mad. Huh. I see. So you're scared of upsetting her? Uh, you think? I'm definitely no match for her. <laughs> well, that's a relief. Bro! I'll call again sometime. We're good friends. Sure, call me anytime you want. I'm sure Mai would love to talk to you too. Sounds good. Later, Goro. Later, take care of yourself. Good comparison is people not wearing seatbelts. Yeah, proven to be effective if people don't wear them because the government says so. Uh-huh. I, it actually, uh, it actually made me a lot less annoyed because I remember thinking when the mask shit was just first going down, this was, I guess, about a year ago. Um, I remember thinking, has, surely people have reacted like, like, this feels just like seatbelts, right? Where some people are just like, no. And then I remembered, yeah, I looked it up, and there was exactly the same response to seatbelts. Of people just saying, like, making up all this dumb, like, anecdotal, broken logic reasoning of why seatbelts were bad and actually killed you more. And all the math clearly said, and all the science, everything was like, wear a fucking seatbelt. But people would still just come up with these dumb, airheaded, like, m like weird reasons to tell themselves that, that, no, it was actually, I don't know, it was dumb as hell. So, yeah, they had to actually convince people to save their own lives by giving tickets and stuff like that, so. It is shocking that it didn't get to the point in the United States where they were writing tickets for not having a mask. I guess they were in some places, but, there, you know, there was just not a law passed.
During the UK, during World War II, plenty of adults defied air raid rules. It took police to enforce the law. Yeah. Yep. It's not saving lives, it's oppression. Yeah, I guess that's the idea, is like, it's always that paranoia of like, if we do what they say now, you'll just do what they say next time. And that's kind of where it ends, it seems like. Some people are just like, no, we have to always do the opposite because that's the only way. That's the only way we stay free. Just on one on one level, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Or at least I can, I can empathize with it. Of like, it freaks you out to have everyone do what the government says. And I get why that should be concerning. But in this specific circumstance, maybe look at the context. Chowder, thank you very much for gifting 10 subs. Thank you very much. You picked the right time. This shit's popping off over here. We got swooping cameras. We got slow-mo walks. Mr. Sher? Sherling, what are you doing here? I asked them to come. Oh, man. We brought the wrecking crew. Hmm. Freedom needs limits. Without limits, it will just be chaos. I mean, I think there are some people who would disagree with that. There are some people who fundamentally think more freedom is always better. It's a virtue unto itself. That is how humanity can succeed, blah, blah, blah. I think there are people that fundamentally believe that. It's the Shen Moggers. It's my Shen Moobs. Oh, yeah. And then there's people who don't understand how a social contract works. I mean, yeah. But the problem is, you don't have to. And that goes back to the people are allowed to be assholes problem. Unless you start... Like, you have to allow people to be assholes, otherwise you're infringing on their rights. And people have rights. People have a right to be an asshole, unfortunately. Most of the time. It's But it's all within boundaries. And it's such a such a judgment call. Complica or situations are also complicated and c complex. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I guess truly the thing that I've I've settled on is like people are allowed Listen to be assholes. Up. As older the older I get, I'm just like it sucks. And no no like moral human would do it, here. should do it. But you have to allow it to some degree. You have to. Because actually if you start trying to like prevent anyone from doing anything wrong that can go that can go way too far the other way, you know? And it's still up to people's judgment. About how far is too far? <laughs> Just kidding. Lighten up, will ya? Now, all, all cars immediately I'll just combat have to global to warming. Castle, Some people right? would say yes. Okay, already I'll go. But the li that would disrupt lives and cause collateral damage and. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it's getting real. It's getting real now. It's maybe getting a little too into it, but I think it's weird that people think of the government as some entity that's trying to control them, when in reality, the government is the people. Government mandating and enforcing masks isn't some shady entity forcing you to do something, it's your fellow Americans forcing you to do it. Yeah, well, I mean, that requires you to trust in the, in the, the, you know, the power of representative democracy. But I don't think, I don't think some people think about it that critically. I think some people just are fully in, I don't like it, so I'm not going to do it. And, in a free country, people are allowed to be that dumb. Or allowed to be that impulsive. They're allowed to, because they're free. What are you doing in here, guy? This is like an, a, an abandoned castle. Oh, no. Oh, what to do? Oh, bother. What's wrong? Huh? Uh... Oh, the red snake stole some valuable items from me. What will the customers say? I have to get the- I've worn a mask for years. It has never impacted my, my freedoms. It was just my choice to wear a mask in hopes of not spreading disease when getting that sick if I had to be out and be at work. It was it for is. me and my consideration of others as well. Now with the me? pandemic, I wore it before oh. the mandates. I'd like you to find I appreciate the that. They stole. And hopefully- Me? This ordeal Please, you're the only will push one Western cultures ask. into more wide-scale mask adoption, too. They Why are we even dis arguing items. this is more of an American problem than the Here rest of the world are. problem? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I I guess I'm just trying to provide 
always making a racket some upstairs. frame of empathy little or a trap door to allow Please, you're my only allow yourself to process that okay. frustration if that makes sense so i should find three items oh thank you so i'm not much. not intending to solve anything your debt. gonna finish the game tonight i don't know it depends how long it is why do i have to do this shit three items retro cram and a large plate all right weird they're on the second floor that's very weird. I don't know why they're giving me a side quest here. Huh? Oh, okay. I can buy produce from an unmanned store in an abandoned castle on a remote island. All right. I'm wearing a mask every time I go outside so that no part of me engages with the idea that it's hard to wear a mask. I mean, yeah, that's good. That's, uh, reminding yourself that it's actually super easy. I don't mind being more anonymous in public. What the? I don't know why I thought there'd be something back there. Hiked a mountain in a mask? Yeah. It's just... I think it's just the discomfort of, like, holding hot breath next to your face. Wait, is that, a, is that the plate I need? This is... I'll take this. Mine. Okay. Large plate, retro camera, and ruby ring. Oh, wait. There's a lot of plates up here. What if I just take them all? What's this? I'll take this. Dandelion plate? Actually, wait. This can't be it. What's the objective now? I'm here to beat up the red dragons. Large plate, retro camera, ruby ring. African plate. Not a large plate. Okay. So apparently, these these are all the items that the red dragon stole. And I'm trying to recover three items for the shopkeeper downstairs. Why? I don't know. Pizza plate! What's this? This can't be the real thing. Can it? Is this real pizza? God, I wish I could try to bite it. I wish so badly Rio would try to eat that plate. That's the only thing that would make me happy. What's this? I'll take this. Like how the stand comes with it? Yeah. Every plate comes with its own stand. There are so many plates. What's this? Bat plate? This is it. No doubt. No doubt. It's not. That's not it. <laughs> Damn it. Why am I cursed? Why am I cursed to be trapped with this man? For all Shetmu. Okay, well. Didn't see a ring or a camera. I'll look around a bit more. Nope. Not allowed to leave. I guess I'll just start picking up every motherfucking plate. What's this? Is that where we're at? This. Is that what we're doing now? <sighs> What's this? This should be it. Oh, shit. That donation, though. Thank you very much for calling my attention to it. Chowder, thank you for the... hundred dollar dono. You know what you'll be playing after Shenmue? Uh, well, probably not streaming anything tonight. But if you mean in terms of just games in general, I have a ton that I have up in the air right now. I want to play more F-Zero GX. Uh, I want to play more Yakuza. I want to get into Hitman 3. What's this? Doom Eternal DLC 2 is coming out soon. Oh, you're a villain. Thank you. Uh, yeah. That was that was fun. At this point, I'm just kind of experimenting with different styles sometimes. But, uh, question. Would you call... What? Oh, found a ring. 
What'd you call that? I'm gonna save my power weapons in case there's an even stronger boss at the end of this and the game ends and you don't use them. Um, let me see if I can come up with a clever name for it. Cause yeah, that's totally a thing. Um, this can't be it. This can't be it. Hmm. This is. I'll take this. Huh. Let's see here. I mean, it could be something straightforward like gamer hoarding. Um. Power out. Oh, can I go more Dragon's Crown? Well, Dragon's Crown, Dragon's Crown is gonna have to wait until I get a fixed controller. I think Kinetica will too. Wait, no. I could probably hook up my PS2. Do Kinetica. That might be worth checking out. Or Extreme G3. Oh, um. Uh, Jet Set Radio Future. It's a game that I needed to need to play through. It'd be good to get an Xbox emulator set up and running too. Can I leave yet? I didn't find a camera. I'll look around a bit more. Uh. Oh, Dallo. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Just try not to post spoilers in chat, please. But that's fine. What's this? This is it. I'll still take it. Did you look it up, or did you actually just remember from playing Shenmue 3 yourself? Oh, more Diablo 2? I should check that out. I'm just... I'm afraid at some point that it's going to be like... I don't know. I feel like playing Necro, it'll just be kind of boring, and then I'll just be dead. I feel like that's how it's going to go. How was the I'll feel fight? immortal, and then poof, just did gone. Find them? Which I guess might I be fun this. after a while. Let me Diablo see. 2 is just really cozy. Great soundtrack, great sound effects. Just so good. So good to have around. This is your first time seeing this game? Oh shit, well good pick out then. Alright. Then I, I wipe it away. It wasn't spoilers at all. You just, uh, you had a good eye. Excited for a Diablo 2 Resurrection. Watch the dev interview for it and give me hope that it'll be great. Uh, maybe I should see that video. I... I guess? I don't know, I got Diablo 2 running pretty well. I guess running at a higher frame rate would be really nice, so maybe. He's really proud of picking you up that plate. Wow, it. okay, that's it. This All right. is it. This dish. That's all three of them. Thank you. You saved my shop. I'll be going then. Oh, please wait a moment. Huh? You've helped me They were so upstairs. Much. All he I had to do was to go up there and get them himself. Somehow. Here. Is this part of a scam? This. this is. It's just a token of. Oh, okay. That's actually useful. Thank you so much. Oh, all new visuals. Much. It was nothing. Uh, By the way, are you selling anything? The I'll the fact that it's like in right. 3D and can run at a higher frame rate um means a lot. I'll offer you this for what you've got there. Really, it's frame rate is all I care about. Having second thoughts, there's nothing I won't... Oh, yeah, I need to revisit... Yes, so Disco Elysium. Yeah, I was waiting for the full cut. So, once that comes out, I'll absolutely play through that game. It's fairly criminal that I, I have it. So, I'll, I'll leave... Okay, yeah, there's not... For the so, oh, this is just so you can I cash won't. out at the end of the game. Still very dark and dreary, it looked amazing. I saw some footage. I guess the footage I saw was really... It was like the first gameplay footage in... I guess like a trailer? And there was only like just fractions of a second cut around other footage, so maybe I just need to see more straight up footage or something like that. Should play Outer Worlds? Uh, no. Not yet. I want to. Um, I think it's getting an FPS boost on console now and it's on Game Pass, so... It's there, it's free, and it doesn't run at 30 FPS on a Series X anymore. Which was really confusing. 45 minute dev interview shows a ton of gameplay. Okay, then yeah, I'll check that out. Cool. 
Yeah, maybe maybe that's worth getting excited over. I don't know. I guess uh I I'm curious if if that game's going to have like ladder support and seasons and all that stuff like they've done with Diablo 3. I guess it's reasonable to expect that, but it, did did they say that? They talk about what their support level was going to be. Outer Worlds is the most 7 out of 10 game I've ever played. <laughs> This is... it's more popular than I imagined. Why am I looking at this? Why is this here? Oh, well, according to the interview. Awesome. Which one is the one with the tidy planets? Ah, that is Outer Wilds. And that game is divine. That game is phenomenal. Can't, this is... Can't say enough how much I love that game. We're not gonna... That was an utterly charming experience. What the fuck? Do I just leave? Just a big empty room. Huh? He said they were on the second floor. Are they just not here now? Oh, I'm missing subs and donos. Oh no, I am? Converse, thanks for the prime. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting distracted. Maybe I can open these doors. No. Uh, lunch. Oh wait, what do you mean? No, there was there was Chowder's huge huge dono. It's times like these, I wish I had a whistle like Bruce, so I could toot toot. Gotta gotta have something to blow all that sub hype energy out. Toot. Uh. Wait, was distracting man. He's got that shiny jacket on now. For real? There's nothing in here. For real? God damn it. Yeah. His stupid little his train whistle. I love it so much. A little conductor hat. <laughs> uh, some props can go a long way. Unfortunately, I just, I think unless I get a, like a Go XLR or something, I really have no way of mixing my stream alerts into my audio feed without it like doubling up or being weird or, or getting in an audio loop or something. Maybe back here? Nope. What the fuck? Excuse me. Welcome. I'd like to... If you're trying to sell... Pardon? There are a lot... Now, I don't want to draw... It. Is that... Don't look? Uh-huh. Okay, so he's not telling me anything. Talk to Ren? I should have a look inside. Nope. I don't know what's more exciting. New Doom DLC or the fact that Sonic the Hedgehog 2 started filming today. Ooh. Any plans on uh, any plans for DMC on stream? You mean Devil May Cry? Or is that same for something else? I was just thinking, I haven't played Special Edition yet. I want to, but again, PS5 is out of out of commission. All my controller is busted. So I'm gonna have to ship that in. Get it fixed or replaced or something. Uh. What am I missing here? Enemy girl wow sound would be a great sub sound. Hold on. I'll check it out later. This is not really a door. These don't open, and there's nothing to like... I can see through it, but there's no like interactable node or anything. I 
How much longer do I plan on playing? I'm not sure. I'd like to finish this game, but... With things like this, I, uh... I don't know if I can. I don't know what I'm missing. Uh, let's see here. Sorry if I'm bringing journalists into the discussion again, but I have one question. Do you think game review is more beneficial if the review is made by a team of journalists rather than just one journalist? Um... You mean, like, multiple different people's perspectives? Or if it's, like, a staff-written review? I don't know. I, I think one person's opinion, well said, one person's analysis and opinion, like, well well formed and well elocuted, should be all you need if the job is done right. So I don't think there's any innate benefit to having multiple people's perspectives, but I think it is good for games that are polarizing. It's tough for somebody to explain why they like something if somebody else won't like it. I feel like something, maybe something like Death Stranding. It'd be really good to have multiple people weigh in on it. Because the more attempts you have, it's kind of like the more shots on goal. <laughs> it's more likely that somebody's going to say it in a way that makes the reader understand whether or not they would like it. So something like that makes sense. But if it's like, if it's a fairly templated, fairly like, uh, predictable kind of game, or if it's similar enough to other things, then I think one person's perspective should be enough. What the heck do they want from me? Brr. We got us a mystery. I I have to believe there's something in that room. Because they wouldn't let me go in there until I, I did that side quest. And then the guy said they were up there, but... Eh, I feel like there's maybe a... There's maybe an event trigger that was supposed to happen or a cutscene when I walked in there and it just didn't. I'm not allowed to leave. There's nowhere else to go. I should have a look inside. Ugh. Is there a YouTube channel that you were subscribed to that doesn't upload often that you get very excited to stop everything and to watch when you see it in your sub box? I don't really go to my sub box, so unfortunately, no. I don't know. I subbed to a lot of random stuff throughout the years, and I never really cleaned it up. And all those channels have sort of changed over time, so... Yeah, my sub box is just filled with a bunch of legacy subs that I don't really look at. I just use the... Whatever YouTube algorithm, whatever it surfaces for me, that's kind of what I thumb through. I just use YouTube to, like... Right now, honestly, I just use YouTube to watch, like, cooking videos. There's there's an incredible amount of really high... Like, high-quality, high-def 4K videos of people in restaurants mass-preparing their menu items. And it is the most... It is the most best to check the yellow crate when you first walk through the gate. I mean, the one with the weight in it? Yeah. Rio just stared at it and he was this like, is... what? I'm like, there's nothing I can do with it. I can hit the help button. But I cannot grab or acquire it. I can open my, uh... I can open my, my journal at it. That's about it. So there's that. I can pick that up. This is... It's more popular than I imagined. But I can't do anything with it here. I can only put it back down. I subbed every local news station I can find. That's a pretty good call. Now I need to find some... I follow a lot of the local LA stations on social media. But I don't on YouTube for some reason, so I should do that. A little more local news in my in my day. Oh, what the heck? Uh, I don't know. Like, it just really seems like something's bugged here. Maybe I gotta reload the game. All right, I'm gonna reload the game. Um, KTLA is on YouTube. Perfect. Yeah, I get a lot of social media news from them. Uh, I gotta use the restroom though. I'll be right back. Reload the game. Be right back. I see somebody who's excited to see my reaction to the end of the game. I'm kind of excited to see it too. Uh, I don't know. People have said that it's it's disappointing, so I have some I have some frame of reference already to know what to expect. I remember the ending of Shenmue 2, and I survived that. So that's kind of what I have to... Somebody said it's even worse. It's even more of a, a blue ball. And Shenmue 2, which I can... I can understand being being pretty intense. Okay. 
Uh, let me actually flip to the end of my stupid manual here, too. Shimatu's ending is fucking trash, yeah. Big big Halo 2 energy in <laughs> Shinmu 2's ending. Except it's even more even more confusing. Give me power okay. Search the area. Okay. So this is just second floor, search the area. Dude who made this game was totally bit on bought in on the fact that he was going to get Shenmue 4, 5, and 6. I mean Why not swing for it, you know? Why not? Why not make the game presuming you will? What's the difference? If you don't get to make another game, you just don't get to. You know, like, you know, who cares? People do that on TV all the time. They have no idea if they're going to get another season. They leave that shit wide open. Maybe if I take this again. Move it back over. There we go. The secret door only opens when that statue's on the other side. There's straight up nothing else to interact with up here? Not seeing that thing up here. I have nightmares about this room. Pizza, pizza plate is the only thing I can interact with. This can't be the real thing, can it? And all Rio can do is express his confusion at whether or not it is in fact a real actual pizza. It's not. It's not my man. So I come in here. There's a weight to stare at. There's a magazine, and three doors, none of which open or can be interacted with in any way. Check the looky holes on the door. I mean, yeah. Top ones? Oh shit! Oh fuck. Ugh. Yeah, good call. Hmm? Seriously? <laughs> okay. What the heck is this? It's free eggs, baby! He's so mad at the door. Ryo, I understand. I too share your frustration in this moment. Do you think Shemu will be more beneficial if they remake the first two games rather than releasing a third one? I mean, they did. They re-released one and two. Leading up to three. Nobody cared. How? Oh, wait. Is this his room? Wait, what does... the heck is this? Oh, it's shorts? This is where he lives? Oh. This is no time for jokes. Oh, my God. <laughs> My god, what is happening? It's that stupid guy, it's Gollum. It. Kung Fu Gollum. Pee in his bed, Rio. Stick your dick through that slot and pee on his bed. He probably won't care, he'll probably like it. Alright, well. Let's Goldilocks it. She's gotta be in here, right? This is no time for jokes. Alright, I did it. Time for a satisfying boss fight, I bet. Mr. Sure? Mr. Yuen? Okay, well. Oh god. Of course he's here. Oh I wasn't I wasn't ready for QTE. I was in maximum Shenmue cutscene enjoyment mode. Gotta watch out for that. This game will lure you into a trance. Fuck. Got him in the eye. Uh, uh, 
I guess it wasn't a remaster, it was a re-release. But they, they brushed up some things, I thought. It wasn't like a total remake, but... There were some improvements. That was pretty cool. That was the thing, right? It's not even a boss fight. I just did my kung fu move and knocked him out. All right, okay. Killed him? <laughs> yeah. Elbow him so hard as his heart rockets out of his back. Hazuki. <laughs> Hazuki. I met Shenhua in Bailu Village. Is she all right? <sighs> Thank you very much, Chowder, though. Sorry, I looked up and saw the donation again. I'm just like, God damn. I appreciate the extreme generosity. Don't worry. I'll save her. Wait, she's been taken to another castle? Please keep them safe. Yeah, Pop Tart. Shenmu originated the QTE. Groundbreaking technology. Ah, now the door's open. All right. What a claim to fame. Shenmue's pretty great, I agree. Are we gonna go in there? Are we gonna bust some shit up? Hey Ren. We're gonna bust some heads. Got a bad feeling gonna bust some nuts. Ren! Yeah. Come on. Stay alert. I'm gonna bust some I'm gonna bust all over the place. Because busted makes me feel good. Whoa. This place is posh. <laughs> claim to fame more like claim to lame. Hey oh have like a little comedy buzzer. E -ne -ne -ne. <gasps> Whoa. Check out the pair on that one. Oh shit. <laughs> Big titted kung fu goddess? So, like to stare, do you? Oh baby. Was it you? This ending is now not bad, no matter what. I mean, unless it ends right now, which I guess it might. Did you bring the mirror? God, she's a full-on anime. Like, matching <laughs> matching hair, same shade as her dress. Yeah, from ten minutes ago? Yeah. Where is she? <laughs> Rio's two neurons just like jittered a little bit. <laughs> Rio, hand over the mirror, or else. <laughs> if it's the mirror you want, oh, do it. Yeah, do it. Here. What? That's why you brought the fake, you idiot. Maybe Ren swapped them because he knew Ryo was going to be adult. So this is the Phoenix Mirror. Now let her go. Who is she? Yeah, she hasn't really been revealed. She's, I guess, the leader of the Red Dragons. Shenhua, are you not the right? not the Kung Fu Man. But damn, she got the milkers for sure, though. Damn. They're like, they're pointing in different directions. That's impressive. Shenhua, go to the next room. Why does the mirror matter again? No one knows. My father? Legit never explained. Yes. So far. Hurry. It is magical in some okay. way. That's all that's been established. I think a laser shot out of it once. Landi is waiting. Landi? Huh? <gasps> well, you still have to make it to the castle first. We're still still gonna have like a battle Rama on the way to the castle. Is then the castle? Just dudes standing in the way, and you have to fight them one at a time. Oh man, I hope so. They really turned it into a video game, huh? Except, is that it? Is that where it ends? I'm so on edge now. I feel like it's gonna end at any moment. Oh shit. Okay. The controls are different. Like I can't move I can't move to the side. It's a 2D fighter now. I can only move like forward and away. Oh I can move kind of move around. Okay, this is pretty sick. This is pretty cool. 
me and me and my me and my straight homie are just gonna go wreck shop. This is all right. Controls are real fucked. All these guys have like basically no health. Oh, I, that that dude got taken out. I want Ren to go first. I need you to go first, buddy. This is way more efficient if you go first. You don't have a health bar. They can't. They can't touch my max level tiger thigh. I fear not the ten thousand techniques you've done one time. I fear the one technique you have done ten thousand times. This is so sick! Man, this is way better than, like, the action finale. Well, 2 had some really good cutscenes. But just walloping, walloping, like, tens of dudes on a bridge is pretty good, too. This is a pretty good action climax. They said my kung fu is weak. Yeah, right. Cool jacket Rio's wearing. Do you own one IRL? I own a jacket that's similar. It's not that jacket. Which I would understand if you're disappointed. I'm disappointed too. They're all wearing the same suit. It looks weird. It's like I'm insulting a cult or something. Some kind of compound. Is that all you're made of? I don't know if there's going to be a... Maybe they'll let me heal with food after this. I don't want to use an energy drink just yet. I think I can get up this, get up this area. <laughs> Faceless mook see <laughs> Oh, it's like it, it, it's like the hallway scene in Old Boy, though, right? It's just that cool and realistic. I can't, I can't. What am I looking at? What are we looking at, Rio? What are we looking at? I mean, I'm glad he, I'm glad he stumbled into the range of my tiger thigh. Okay, good. Now I can, now I can eat some garlic. All that's left is to confront Landi. <gasps> Oh shoot, I saved after the point of no return. Why did I do that? Well, that was silly. Well, whatever. We're, we're locked in now. Look at this. Look at how epic this is. I'm not going to run up the stairs because that will cost me health. <laughs> and I don't want to I don't want to go into the boss fight with a lowered health bar. Because Shenmue 3 is the best. It's the best video game. Like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> I mean, there wasn't there supposed to be like the lowest point when all of my friends get captured and I've been beaten by Landi and then I surge back? I guess maybe that's still going to happen. Maybe. Something tells me that. Of the pacing of this third act, if that's what I'm in now. It feels more like a 25th act. It may not be quite so cinematic. We're still going, huh? Number three. I think, what, it's 14 is when it becomes funny again? So, buckle up. Alright. I guess it's like a video game. They're just coming out one at a time. I'll continue my slow, pa slow walk up these steps. I don't want to see Lon D2 out of breath. I've been thinking of uh, really cool insults to say to him for years. Like, hey, dick face. Ah, oh, shit, there's, ah, uh, it's the lieutenants, yeah. Or whatever. Is it these guys? Yeah. What was that? 
Ren's doing a great job over here. Go. I'm gonna use one. I'm gonna risk it. Jesus. I would have had Echo. There we go. Oh, probably could have been fine. Ah, oh, well, whatever. <sighs> this is very epic. This is very epic and very cool. <laughs> kind of feels like Ren is the main character. He is the coolest dude. And he has something of a personality. He's got a vest and a cool necklace. And, ooh, almost burned some health there. And a do-rag, so... Is this a different bridge? Do you not see him? Maybe that's... Maybe this is like a... Sixth Sense kind of thing and he's actually dead. All these guys are just falling down. Are they just behind me? If I just slow down for like uh, 30 seconds, it seems like three more dudes would catch up. Yeah, whatever. This is it. It's all been leading up to this. A satisfying confrontation with Londi. Oh, there's this guy first, yeah. Hey. Gotta use my super secret technique. Spent a lot of money on that. <laughs> Those moves. Yeah, Jitka, I think this is you the end game. Did. You really like taking a beating, huh? Tough guy. Love how tough he is. There's one thing I love about Rio. It's a, it's a, is he's tough. So, huh? Ren is gonna wait, wait it out. Have a snap. I'd be very cool if he didn't do that. That'd be. Here I go. Go. <laughs> no more. Oh shit! QTE had a like forward button, so. It's letting me interrupt him, which is rare. Normally he'd just attack me through that shit. I don't know if he's the last boss, uh, but I'm gonna—I might as well use my energy drinks. But uh, I'm gonna stagger a save here in case I blew through 
too many power-ups. I might need them later. But I like Pirate. Thanks for the cheer. Punch the G feel out of him. Yeah, and then... Oh, no! Fuck. Okay, let's see how mean this game's gonna be. Okay. Not, not as mean as it could be. Anyway, then I will drink his G fuel. I will take his power. Oh, this is it. Spine severed. Father avenged. He's looking on, smiling. Ryo, he appears in the clouds. Ryo, he will no longer walk, and this pleases me. You are my son. Quite possibly the coolest Ryo has ever been. Ryo's on a real high right now. Ryo is is cruising. Okay, Let me make sure I don't mess this up. Okay. Because, <laughs> yeah, if I have to fight Londi now and he just, like, one-shots me, that's going to be rough. Actually, I guess I have garlic. All right. This is real cool, real epic. I'm about to learn the secret of the dragon mirrors and everything that's been going on. Why my dad was killed. Here it comes. This will, the answers to all my questions. All of them. Every last one. I got a cool jacket. Got the same jeans I've worn for the last six months. <laughs> Traveled to multiple countries. Slept in them nonstop. Never taken them off. My skin is actually merged with the denim. If you cut the denim, I will bleed. Is the ending coming? We'll see. <laughs> I think so. The game seems to be telegraphing that it's we're coming up to the finale here. Don't know the bald eagle jacket or the red suit. No, you're... You're right. No, wait, I thought I got the red suit. I did get the red suit. What? Now the clown patrol's coming out? What is this? Are these backers? These have to be backers. These guys look like the type of fellas who would put down money on Shenmue 3. Oh, come on. Ah, shit. I actually took a took a good chunk out of my health bar. Okay, probably won't get the true ending because you didn't get all the suits. Oh, I mean, I think I got a, a, lot, a fair amount of suits. I might get the ending for eating a lot of garlic. Yeah, the story's actually moving forward. Cool guy, Nick. At a breakneck pace. Ah, uh, it's locked. Yeah, better turn working? around. Isn't it obvious? Hey, quit dawdling. Burn it down? Oh, are we gonna QTE the door down? Here we go. Hmm. Ultimate bro attack. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> we kick it on three. You really are a klutz. <laughs> oh, Rio. Oh, buddy. Here we go. Hmm. One, two. Whoa! 
It was like a kung fu. Oh, it's him! Whoa! And credits. Is that it? That's gotta be it, right? Oh man, we're still going? Okay. Oh, he's just gonna tell his like crew to mess us up? He doesn't even say anything, he's just... I'm kind of really scared they're gonna make me fight all these guys. Oh! Okay, no, maybe just QTEs. One at a time. Ah, this is awesome. Hey. Let me I'll take this, this guy. One. Okay, that works. Ooh. Oh my god, little jeet. Classic. Classic. That should just about do it. The rest is up to you. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> Pretty much. I got a QT this guy down. I'll do it gladly. She set the temple on fire. Yeah, that's a pretty good move. Show no mercy. Yes, ma'am. You want to find the guys in the temple? Just burn it down. This is sick. Burning temple. Gonna have a kung fu showdown. The guy who killed my dad. How climactic! Great way to finish a game. A lot of, a lot of potential closure there. Burn Landy and the rest of it down. God, her areolas are powering through her top. You know she's got puffers. That just makes her more irresistible. Oh man. It seems you've improved a bit. That is not how he sounds. I don't think. Landy. Fight me! <gasps> I will avenge my father! Oh what a good call out, Rio! Looking good, sounding good! Here it comes. Here comes revenge. Yeah! 20 years in the making. Ultimate showdown. Oh shit, oh fuck, I'm gonna get wrecked. Is that all you can Please be a scripted boss. Okay, yeah. I think he's gonna... He's gonna give me that like... Die. You're not gonna be allowed to take a hit on him. This bout is mine. Mondi's serious business. You know, you don't wanna you don't mess with this guy. I'll mess you up. Alright. Alright. Had to have a little climactic kung, kung fu action. Just wet the appetite before the big finale. Here it comes. I want to lean into it. I think it's going to be a really funny gag. I like how Lon D is wearing the exact same robe, too. Even I've changed clothes. Or jackets. Oh boy, here it comes. Yeah. And now he, like, takes off with a helicopter. Like a helicopter rope ladder sweeps in through a window and he just grabs it with one arm and is yanked, a, yanked out of the story. You really have a death wish, don't you? Then allow me to reunite you with your father. Go do it, Ladi! Hey, isn't this what you're after? Nice! Let go of him and I'll let you have it. Ran in with the... Oh, with the god play! Damn it. You're no good to anyone dead. Or uh, alive, here. really? No. Landy. 
that's sick. Oh no, what'll happen? What'll happen to Londi? What'll happen? Wandi is definitely dead. Maybe? What an interesting state of affairs. Everything's all jumbled up. Everything's crazy now. What's going to happen? What do you mean nothing happened? What do you What do you mean? Rio fought Londi and ran through a mirror out of a window. So much has happened. Wow, just a lot to digest, a lot to take in. What an what a journey, what an adventure. Honestly, I didn't think he was gonna see Landy at the end of this game. Because that trail had gone so ridiculously cold. Also, he didn't find Shenhua. She wasn't mentioned at all, really. And not even acknowledged at this point now, when her whereabouts are completely unknown. So that's important. New loading screen? I thought that dude had a giant, weird, foot, furry foot for a second. <laughs> it was like, what kind of boot is that guy wearing? <laughs> the cats. I guess there were cats. Oh, Shenhua's fine. What? She's she's good? Was she just... Did she just not tell anyone? Did she just go on a trip? I remember he said, go see your dad. Oh. Okay. She was there at the last cutscene? Oh, I guess you're right. I just, she was never really acknowledged. <laughs> GG, Ansem. Yeah. Shenmue 3 clear on the hardest difficulty. But I guess the dad would have details on what the mirror is. Okay, it was that guy. Zhao Sun Ming. Never mind, that's somebody else. You know him? The man next to him is. Lan Di. Oh. The mirror, which is now gone. Yeah. And also, it's ambiguous which one was which. By Landy. That's true. Yep. Landy. Mm -hmm. He suddenly appeared in the dojo and stole the dragon mirror. Then he killed my father. This is all very important plot to set up at the end of the game. The dragon mirror. Stolen by Landy. It has the same design as a relief I saw in your quarry. Something so terrible happened because of the mirror my family created. Please, tell me if you know anything. The dragon mirror and the phoenix mirror were once locked away in the cliff temple. It's more? But someone had their eye on them. They were the Chiryo men. Zhao Sun Ming wanted to retrieve the mirrors before they fell into the wrong hands. He's the man standing next to your father. The mirrors were entrusted to him. Several years later, Zhao died under mysterious circumstances. His only son, Long Sun, was raised by the Chiyo men. Long Sun? Zhao Longsuan, also known as Lan Di. So yeah, that basically means that he's kind of like the evil version of Ryo, right? Both sons of those the dudes. Temple the Zhao visited. Why is he flashing back to five minutes ago? You could have just had this as part of the last scene. Have taken it over. So Lan Di is there. Oh, I got a new lead. He was in the temple for Most some reason. Most likely, with the mirror. Cool.
cool. All right, we're going there, I guess. Yu Suzuki wants a more mainstream Shenmue 4. We need a charity stream to fund this. I would love to be independently wealthy. Because my nose is pointing to treasure. And fund a uh, fund a Shenmue 4. I think you would have you would need like maybe 20 to 30 million dollars though. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. Prophecy. Murder. You better not run, Landi. I will avenge my father. This is closer to a $35 million game. Yeah, I'm, I know it's in that range. I have zero concept of how expensive games are. Yeah. All right. All right. That was actually not as bad as Shenmue 2's ending. Because Shenmue 2's ending, like changes the world rules all of a sudden and just ends this at least was internally consistent a little bit Ooh, new game plus and don't mind if i do show me three from the top when d's nuts nice ah uh, ah uh, god bless god bless deep silver for taking that on God bless you. Well, A+. Plus. That is the best Shenmue 3 I've ever played. I don't know that I'd want a new Shenmue game to be any different than that. That was near perfect. Um, but, you know, I can, I can think of some room for improvement. I'm curious to watch this, uh... Was it Fox something? Mystery Fox Wolf Eyes? I don't know, I'm saying a lot of words, but... Apparently, the, uh, Malcolm, if you're in chat, you were you were referencing a critique of this game. I feel like I could watch it now, entertain those ideas. You say Shenmue 3, the best Shenmue 3 I've ever played? It is. It is the best Shenmue 3. Super eye patch wolf. All right, thank you. Yeah, I can I can see how there's like uh, I can see how there'd be gameplay systems in one or two that aren't present in three that would be a disappointment. But I, for me, they nailed the feel, which is something I swear only existed in Y2K. Like only could have existed at that time on that hardware, with that exact combination of circumstances. But somehow, man, somehow they did it. They made another Shenmue. Okay, so it's a special thanks for and kindly assistance for Sega. Okay, yeah, they weren't involved. They didn't put any other money on this shit. Makes sense. It was felt Shenmue, right? I, I, that's the last thing I expected. I, I, I would have expected it to be boring. I would have expected it to be nonsensical. Uh, but I never expected it to feel like Shenmue. There are three Shenmues and only three. There are games that can get close, but man, that Yu Suzuki uh, flavor is just too great. I kind of wish the voice acting was more awkward and more near to the first two, but I really, really like three despite the critics. I really liked it too. Yeah, you really feel like an awkward Japanese kid. So, so much. Mark Cerny. Mark Cerny is, is responsible for everything good. Specifically Knack. Ah, what a journey it's been. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess for like 3D open world games, then. I need to pick up more Death Stranding, but yeah, maybe maybe Yakuza's my new pretend I live in Japan game. Ha, ah, Corey Marshall. God bless. God bless. I'm gonna go to my uh, Ryohazuki shrine, light the incense, clap, whatever, then do the bowing thing. Yeah, with Yakuza 0, I'm already... I'm already in chapter four. I'm I'm Kiryu the second time you're Kiryu, I think. I think you can swap at this point. I'm not sure. Oh, I I yeah, I'm gonna get back to Death Stranding. Maybe tomorrow. I got to the second area finally, so it's kind of, and I got I got an exosuit, so it's becoming a, uh, it's becoming Death Stranding finally. 
Once I get the little, like, tugboats, <laughs> that's when we're at peak Death Stranding. Tugboats and bikes. Be a Shenmue 3 NPC. Yeah, maybe that was the five dudes you fight at the top. Oh, it was, it was Min Liang Tan. I, I didn't recognize him, though. I think I know what he looks like. Oh, Fan Gamer! Ah, I love Fan Gamer. Oh, spirits go rip. Thank you very much for the resub. Thank you for the congrats. Of all the gamers, I was clearly the uh, the only one intense enough to beat it on hardest. This cliffhanger brought to you by G Fuel. Are we done doing that? Done for now. Yeah, there will there will be more pushing G Fuel in the future. I actually pitched them a couple of ideas today. Well, more like soft talk about, talked about a couple of ideas, but uh, G Fuel is a great partner and a fantastic product. So we'll definitely be pushing them again in the future. But the current current sales push. You can still buy it if you want. You know, I'm not stopping you. <laughs> I am the superior gamer. I'm going to sleep like a child tonight. Content. Chase the uh, looming existential dread away for another day. Man, what memories. Screaming at turtles that are slow. Betting on frogs that are also slow. Playing a nonsensical dice game. Chopping wood. Trying to get, trying to get capsule toys. Do you think you'll dream about avenging Rio's father? I think I'll dream about getting close a couple times and then never doing it. Oh yeah, the new Doom G Fuel kit? Yeah. I hope they send me that. I didn't explicitly ask, but I should. Just so there's no, there's no confusion. They sent me this, uh, this like dry erase cup too. So it like came with a couple of markers so you can actually draw on the side and like write slogans and doodles and stuff. I want to practice though. I don't want to draw on stream because it's going to be bad. It's just going to be a penis. I want to draw a really good penis. Like a really... If I drew a grossly photoristic, photorealistic penis, would that get me in trouble on Twitch? Like as close to photoreal as I could possibly manage with, uh, with dry erase markers. <laughs> I see yes and no and then probably. Okay. It's art, though. Can't you do, like, body painting? Only one way to know for sure. It's a good point. It's a good good point. There is only one way, yeah. You have to wear pasties. <laughs> Just put a little sticker over the top. To all the fans who have waited many years for Shenmue 3, and to all the crowdfunding backers who have made this game possible, this project would not exist without your love, support, and the connections we have made along the way. With profound appreciation for all that you have done, I am happy to finally present to you Shenmue 3. During development, I expanded the scope beyond what I had originally envisioned. I'm happy we were able to include the distinct Shenmue charm throughout this game. I hope that this new chapter strikes even a small resonance in your heart. For as long as there are those who wish to see Shenmue live on, I will never give up on my own personal journey to complete its story. As with Shenmue 3, the Shenmue story is with you. I sincerely hope that together we can continue to spin the tale of Ryo and his adventures in Shenmue 4. This goes out to all who have ever loved and supported Shenmue. Uh, from Yu Suzuki, I presume. Yeah, that looks like it. Ah, ah, ah. He tried. Someday, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly confident that it maybe enough time will pass. And people will forget again. And people will crowdfund it again. And some company will be stupid enough to, to publish it again. And then they'll lose money again. And the whole cycle will turn again. Maybe in another 10 years. But not today. Not in a few years. <laughs> ah, well. Hey, that, that's honestly not as bad of a cliffhanger as it was last time. So I lived, I lived through it before I can live through it again. I'll, I'll patiently wait for the next installment. I, I gotta admit, it is nice at the end of the game for even the creator to say, I would like to continue doing this. Even if the, even if the world won't, won't hear of it for a while. I'll be here. That's good to hear. A little bit. Ow, my eyes. Yeah, I got the, got the good old flashbang. The Yakuza 0 flashbang. Get used to it. It's gonna keep happening. Oh yeah, and uh, thank you, Smashbot, Smashbee, 
plug it one last time. Uh, the Tiltify to raise money for the Ameri the Lupus Foundation of America. Uh, in coordination with the Among Us stream that I played earlier. Um, a beautiful person is using their birthday to raise money for anti-lupus research. It's against lupus, not pro-lupus. We are not pro-lupus here. But, alright. That'll be it for me tonight. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back on pretty early tomorrow. Um, I want to try to get in the stream hours because I'm going to be away from stream for a while later this week. But, I'll be back tomorrow. It's uh, THC Tuesday. So I'm going to be playing Resident Evil with Bruce later in the evening. And then I have, what is it, Freak Apocalypse for a little bit. And then maybe Loop Hero. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Yeah, stream's ending. Sorry about that. I just finished Shenmue 3. Finished a whole video game. It's rare. It's rare for me to do that. But uh, thank you all very much for watching. Have a great night. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.